Good morning, good morning. Welcome to Sewing Street. Hope everybody's well this morning. I uh, hope you're having a lovely weekend so far. We are starting our Saturday show with an absolute bang of an early bird. I love it. In fact, uh, this is an early bird that I know has been extremely popular at full price and we do not need to take it any lower. We do not need to take it any lower, but this is why we love waking up nice and early with a bargain. So, for anybody who has loved doing any applique projects, sorry, I've got hair in my face. Um, anyone who loves applique, um, but is worried about getting glue from their bonder web on the surface on their iron or at transferring, uh, a great way to avoid that is by using an applique mat. We've only literally had this on the show a few times and it's sold out every time that it's been on. And today, it is the early bird special. Are you ready for your early bird price? It is a brilliant price point. Um, it is five pounds and 99 pence. A brilliant deal at 6.99 anyway. So getting it with a bit of a saving is awesome. So use it with your FPK, use it with uh, any fusing fabrics, fabric working with glue, so any like your H640 even. Um, and, and, and it will also help to reduce any friction. So you use the mat. The mat is like, a, it's almost like a, a Teflon sort of sheet that will, what's the word, sort of repel the glue, I suppose. It will protect your surface. It's going to protect your tabletops, um, but it will not stick to the cloth. So it's brilliant, isn't it? Uh, it's a nice size as well. So if you're doing things like, I'm thinking the Highland Cow, if you got any of Delphine's projects or the unicorn, if you managed to get those last week, then absolutely grab yourself one of these. And it's something that you can use time and time and time again as a pressing cloth. Uh, for just £5.99, it is your early bird saving. Today is going to be a brilliant show as well. I mean, a brilliant show. So it is today, um, it is the day to open your order nice and early. Absolutely. Just £5.99. 99. Uh, it is from Hemline. They've got great instructions. They've got a little QR reader, in fact, on the back. So if you do want to uh, to have a look, then um, you can absolutely do that. So today's show is going to be awesome. We've got Cara Ackerman joining me. She's going to be here in the next hour. So this first hour, we've got sewing street. Uh, sorry, sewing room tools and fabrics in this first hour. We've got some creative grids. We've got brand new product, which we're going to be launching in just a second at nine o'clock. Um, it's the first show that I've done with felt, actually, over the last um, few months. I haven't done anything like this, and Cara is the perfect person to talk through a bit of slow stitching. We've got some beautiful hand stitch felting projects with a great book. I'll show you again in a second. At uh, 10 o'clock, this is where, if you love a saving, if you wake up every morning at 8 o'clock to see what our early bird special is, we're going to do early birds revisited. We've managed to get some back in stock. We've picked out some of our favourites, some of your favourites, um, and put them back and put them back in stock at ten o'clock. So set your alarm, ready for that early bird revisited show. Eleven o'clock. We've got the most adorable clutch bag. You might have seen it on Instagram. This is your bow trimmed clutch bag with Cara again. And then it's always at twelve o'clock. We'll be repeating one of the shows from uh, Debbie's show yesterday. So this is the clutch bag that I was talking about. And it's so cute, isn't it? I absolutely love it. Um, this is a version with interfacing, actually, and we're going to be doing an H640 version, uh, which will have even more sort of stability. It's absolutely beautiful in these fabrics, isn't it? So that's coming up. Um, in the 11 o'clock hour and this is the book that we're working from in the nine o'clock show so we're going to have a really good look through this but it takes you through all of the seasons you've got 30 different accessories i think as far as i'm aware this is brand new today so absolutely make the most of that you can of course search ahead on the website have a look at all of the projects uh, all of the products and projects and check out on any of the kits any of the books any of the fabrics nice and early in fact do you know what I'd be doing? Typing in the word early bird and just seeing all of those early bird specials and the discounts. Get ahead of the queue. You can reserve those nice and early. Um, so they're Cara's projects. Now, as I say, we're launching a brand new exclusive offer to us. And it's so hot off the press that we literally have been sent a prototype of it. I don't even have the actual box yet. I don't have the actual um, the, the actual bottle, but I have got the hand sanitizer, which, right, 
there's no denying over the last six months i have got through more antibacterial hand gels than i have in my whole lifetime now it looks just like a um you know a normal hand sanitizer bottle here yours will come in a beautiful um with beautiful sort of um labeling and it will come with a yellow lid it will go with all of your seams products but the best thing about this today is that we're offering an exclusive survey so if you go onto the seams uh, website they are selling it now and it's five pound a bottle you're getting two and let's face it it's really good to stock up whether you're you know giving it to a friend as a gift or whether you are stocking up yourself as we are using it every single day uh, it will kill 99.9% .9 of bacteria and it has a really, really lovely scent. I think a lot of the, uh, a lot of the, the, the hand gels that I've used, especially as soon as you go into any shops or, you know, a, a lot of them I've had, it can smell so overpoweringly of alcohol that I instantly feel drunk. <laughs> <laughs> it takes me back to my Sambuca shots days that I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so early. I'm doing all of these hand gels and they're so alcoholic. Whereas this has got a really, really beautiful, beautiful smell. And also, it's not greasy. It's an amber cocoon scent and it's not greasy at all. Um, it's not sticky. It will completely absorb. It is not greasy and it smells beautiful as well only £8.99 and that is for two of your bottles two of your 50 ml bottles you don't need very much of it and um, it's so new so hot off the press that we don't even have the actual product here yet the actual bottle here yet this is just the prototype which was very exciting they're all ready to go um, but yeah we wanted to be able to, to bring it on air as soon as we could it's very very popular um, nearly half the stock has already gone so if you got it in your basket please to check out remember this is for two bottles eight pounds 99 if you've bought something already or if you're planning on getting involved on the early bird revisited then um, absolutely make the most of it if you do want them individually if you want to try it out individually they're on the web at four pound 99 four pound 99 individually so have a look www.sewingstreet.com if you do want to make the most of it and I must say as I said it's not greasy it's not sticky it will instantly absorb um, as I say it's not going to smell overpoweringly of alcohol it's absolutely beautiful we love seams I must say um, seams over the last uh, six months has been my saviour. I love the hand cream, the nail oil and the hand gel now. That is a must, isn't it? We all need to continue to make sure that we're hand backing regularly as possible. But sometimes they can be really quite drying and abrasive on your hands, can't they? So I do love that. Love it, love it, love it. £8.99. So we've got hand cream and we've got the nail oil. Which one would you like to do first, Liam? Let's do the hand cream first because we have had so many people who have, uh, have got in touch with us and said how much they've loved using it since, um, since back in February when we launched it. Um, what is so amazing about this is that Karen, who invented the hand cream, she almost found a problem and wanted to rectify it and she, that's why she invented it. She was actually on a milliner's course, so she was making hats and she said her hands were just in ruins. And she went to the, the teacher, the lecturer there um, at the London School of Fashion and said, what hand cream do you recommend? I, you know, all of this hand stitching is, is really ruining my hands. And they said, we haven't yet found one. So she says, you know what, I'm going to invent one. And I just love that. I think it's amazing. In fact, if you watch back, um, if you type in seams onto Sewing Street on our YouTube channel, then you'll be able to see Karen, who is the inventor, talking about this for a whole hour. And I must say, she's really, really fascinating and really interesting. She has packed in so many ingredients. I must say, it's also including macadamia nut oil, just in case you've got a nut allergy, wanted to make you aware of it. Um, but... For £13.99, look at how many ingredients you've got in here. Uh, this is a hand cream that is, is something that she actually worked very close with a, a top pharmaceutical company to be able to put together the best ingredients to help not only, it says here, um, it's helped to, to moisturise, it's helped to soften and restore and condition. That's the macadamia nut oil and the rosehip oils. It's designed to nourish and smooth. Uh, it's designed to hydrate and enhance skin barrier. Um, 
Um, it's also designed to even skin tone. It's designed to strengthen nails and designed to comfort with that beautiful forgo. Uh, what's the uh, the smell? Sorry, yeah, fragonia oil. The fragonia oil is like a really, really beautiful, not overly floral smell. It, some hand creams I've seen that are more. Uh, medical, I'm going to say, can be quite clinically smelling, whereas actually this is a really beautiful fresh smell. So, if you have a look on Seam's website, I mean, the, the, the endorsement that Seam's has had has been incredible. And it, I mean, I'm not just talking Joe Blogs, we're looking at the Telegraph, we're looking at some big celebrities. There are so many people um, who, who have had it. Now, I can't tell you that this will stop you from biting your nails, but challenge to stop biting your nails in 60 days. I found it's really, really strengthened my nails. So, of course, when you're thinking about sewers in mind, this is a hand cream that is designed for sewers in mind. So it is non-greasy. It's going to absorb. Have you tried hand creams that don't penetrate into the skin? They sit on the surface and they become really, really greasy, whereas this one doesn't at all. Simply Sewing Magazine. It is designed with sewers in mind. But I know that people in the NHS have been using this. I know ice dancers, celebrities in the fashion industry, she's using it. There you go, there's Ben Shepherd. Uh, I love a bit of um, tipping point, do you? In the ITV studios, there's Ben Shepard using the, uh, the Seams hand cream. The makeup department in ITV been using it. And I think it's sort of proof in the pudding, isn't it? When we've got so many industry experts who have all been loving it. There's not very many hand creams out there that as a sewer, you would think, I'm going to use a hand cream whilst working with Silk Dupion or working with uh, wedding dresses or doing my quilting even. You only need literally like a pea size amount and just give that a really, really lovely moisturising. It's got a shelf life of 12 months. It's on the back of the pack here, 12 months. And it will last that. It will absolutely last that test of time from my experience. I've got, um, I've got Seams hand cream and I've been using it for the last couple of years and I love it. As I said, the smell is beautiful. Uh, those of you that have been to L'Occitane or Kiehl's or Jo Malone or The White Company and invested in any of those higher end uh, sort of hand creams, you know that you could be looking over the £20 mark. I think this is a great gift for somebody, especially as we've all been washing our hands, using all of these antibacterial, uh, you know, hand gels in every store that you go into. It will really, really help to restore dry and rough, distressed hands, which I think we've all had, haven't we? Especially leading towards these wintry mornings. How cold is it this morning? How cold is it this morning? And I must say, your hands do feel the the, uh, the cold, don't they? I get very, very cracked skin in the winter, so um, I'm excited to be to be using that. Now, also, what I always see is a bit more of a luxury is your cuticle nail oil. Now, I know that Karen said, look, this isn't just for your, for your hands and your nails. You can use this on your elbows if you have any dry um, heels on your feet or knees, any dry areas. It's really, really good to just dab a tiny bit. And I mean, it comes in like a little pipette style tube. So if you don't even need to squeeze it, I literally just tap it onto my cuticles. Uh, I used to go to the nail salon. I haven't actually been back. I know that it can be um, a bit scary still at the moment, but I haven't actually been back yet to the nail salon because I've found that using this cuticle oil and the hand cream combined, my nails have grown. I mean, those of you that have known me for years, I've never, ever been able to grow my nails. I've had false nails on for probably the last 10 years and my nails have been so weak. And already the strength in my nails, it, it's, it's been quite remarkable actually. Just putting this on in the evening, it will absorb instantly. It's not gonna leave your hands really, really greasy. What I would do though, is I would put the um, oil on first and then the hand cream on second. Maybe put it on at night and give yourself a nice little hand massage because I think we always forget our hands, how hard working they are. Even if you just got it, even if you're just doing, you know, the washing up and the washing, especially this weather, as I say, this is when I start to get really cracked skin around my nails or really sore, sore hands. And that will just absorb beautifully. Once again, it has got that shelf life of 12 months, so it will last the test of time. Uh, 
If you haven't already, please do watch Karen back. If you're purchasing this or if you're buying it for a gift for somebody, then absolutely speak to the team, reserve yours, but then definitely watch back on YouTube Karen, who is the inventor on, um, she was the, of course, the inventor of Seams Hand Cream and the nail oil. She was on the show back in February, so you absolutely should make the most of it. Okay, just to recap, there's loads of these are selling. The early bird special this morning... The early bird special is your applique mat. So if you do, we've all been there, haven't we? Where we've got glue, we've done the bundle web the wrong wrong way round and ended up getting um, getting glue on your iron or on your surface or on your ironing board. This is going to prevent that. It, it's like a Teflon sheet uh, that is not going to, uh, you, you, basically your glue won't stick to that cloth. So it's brilliant. Non-stick, applique mat, price point. It's only five ninety nine. Fantastic, fantastic value for money. Speak to the customer service team. Uh, what's the item code number, Liam? We'll get you the item code just so that you can speak to the team or have a look on the web. It's K Y Z W zero four. K Y Z W zero four is the item code for today's early bird. Right. So uh, those of you that have not bought with us before, now is the time to check out. And this is just a quick reminder of how you shop. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Marcus just said to me, do you know what, your hands have improved no end, just looking at the, uh, looking at the VT there, your, your nails don't look great there Vic, but here now they look amazing. Uh, right, so Lynette Anderson, when we launched this, in fact I wouldn't be surprised, Liam, just while we're going through these, would you do me a favour and type in Lynette Anderson Swan Cottage onto the internet and seeing if you can find anywhere else that is stocking it yet. Because as far as I'm aware, when we launched it, I know we were certainly the first people in the UK to stock it. But then um, I think, if I'm not mistaken, that we might still be. When I looked last week, certainly, there were people that were saying, coming soon, but they hadn't got it on. So I love this. It's a, an Australian designer called Lynette Anderson, who is an incredible, incredible artist. Here in the, is in the UK, an incredible artist who um, it starts off with, with beautiful drawings and beautiful designs. And this is the latest collection. It's the first collection that we've had here in, in um, uh, Sewing Street. And we love it. Absolutely love it. So which one are you starting with, sorry? What's that? This one. So we haven't got a mega bundle. They're all individually by the half metre. This is your half a metre and it's now last of stock. We literally have launched it and it is now last of stock. There is uh, your flower spa splash, which is just beautiful, isn't it? The colours are amazing and they almost look like they've got stitching as well around the edge. So those of you that have, um, if you love quilting, if you love bag making, if you want to even dress make with it, just be aware obviously that it is slightly heavier weight cotton. It's a quilting weight cotton but this is going to be perfect for that. Just £7.99, a half metre, and now's your chance to get it off the bolt to whatever size you want. Isn't that lovely? It's now last of stock. If you do want more than half a metre, absolutely make the most of it. So that is the first one. We are going to fly through these because they're all really, really limited. Right. 
So next we have got soft teal. Is it got like a heart ditzy print? This is really, really pretty. Would you prefer to see it on the overhead, Marcus? What's best for you? Sorry. Okay. £7.99. pence. Sorry, there's a bit of a crease on there. You can't really see, but there is the tiniest little ditzy heart. It's a little ditzy print, little ditzy heart print. This would be lovely for English paper piecing. This would be really, really nice for quilting. Look at that detail. Just £7.99. The quality is gorgeous. Lynette Anderson is a very, very famous uh, fabric designer and artist. She is absolutely brilliant at what she does. And, and you can see the different scales of print are just going to work together absolutely seamlessly. Sorry that it's a bit creased. Um, just £7.99. Right, there's only three metres of this left. Three metres left, which is uh, six units. That's all that's left. So do make the most of it. Do you know what I've just realised? We haven't got a quilt up today and it looks a bit, I look a bit bare, don't I? Thank you, everyone's just noticing that my nails look great condition now. <gasps> okay. This one's called Deep Water, which is gorgeous. Swan Cottage. This was the, uh, the, this was the flagship uh, sort of design. This was the one that I saw this little print here and in fact on Instagram back in I want to say June um, I follow Linda Anderson on Instagram and she was doing little sneak peeks little teasers of uh, of the Swan Cottage range and she was just doing little swans like this but it's gorgeous look at the detail on the cottage you've got the lovely door with the heart on you've got all of like the wisteria that's growing you've got the little uh, ladybirds it's so pretty how many units left are, sorry, two metres did you say? Two metres or two units? Oh, one metre left, that's it, grab it if you want it. These are all last of stock, I've got a feeling this will be the last time that you see them. If you are doing any quilting projects, oh yeah, this is what I saw. The salvage edge, so on the salvage you can see all the little swans which are just adorable. Message in today by the way, uh, we are live on, uh, we are on Facebook today, do you know? We'll see, because I know there were problems yesterday with Facebook and YouTube, weren't there? Um, I, I, we'll see, and online, I'm not sure whether you can watch us online. We'll have a look and see if we're there. But join us on uh, Freeview on Sky. Come and message in. Studio at sewingstreet.com if you want to send in any photographs or any messages. Just £7.99. pence. This one's called your uh, Leaves on Soft Brick, which is a really lovely mocha sort of shade. Just £7.99. Once again, it is last of stock now. Incredibly limited. Lovely colours, aren't they? This is your Leaves Vine. Did you manage to find it in the UK, Liam? No. I think that it's still, um, people are still struggling to get it in the UK at the moment. Uh, hence why we've had the collection come in and disappear before it, anybody else can really get it. So I don't know how hard it is going to be for us to, re to replace. So it's definitely worth absolutely making the most of it whilst you can. Only £7.99 and a half metre. And this is your Leaves on Vine, which is that olive green. Lovely, lovely olive green. Don't forget everybody, Cara's going to be joining me at 9 o'clock. We've got a great felt masterclass today, some lovely uh, hand stitching projects. We've also got a gorgeous brand new fabulous felt book, uh, which is a search press book, so you know it's going to be brilliant quality. So uh, this is the penultimate Lina Anderson one. There's only five, how many left of this one, sorry? Five units of this left, five units, four units. Remember, that's only two metres left in stock and then that's completely sold out. I've got a feeling all of these will go by the end of today's show. Um, in fact, by the end of this hour. We've also got the last one. This is the only one that we have now. This is lovely for soft furnishings, I think, actually. This would be really, really nice for, for homewares. Just £7.99, a half metre. How is everybody this morning? Have you had a nice couple of days? I feel like I've not seen you for ages. It's been one day, actually, hasn't it? One day, but I feel like I've not seen you for ages. Uh, do message in. Let me know how you're spending your weekend. 
What are you up to this weekend? It's studio at sewingstreet.com. Can you see us on the web today? On www. Yay, we're on the website. I know yesterday we weren't on the web. So if you're watching us on www.sewingstreet.com, hello, good morning. I know oh, I like to sit and put it on the my phone in the morning when I'm in bed still. I had to get up early because I thought, oh, they're not on. So I had to go into the lounge and put Debbie on. And I saw, oh, they are on. They are on. But um, yeah, we just had the gremlins here yesterday with our internet. I don't think we're on Facebook for some reason, but um, our, sorry, thank you for, for your messages. Our team are aware of it, so don't worry, they will be sorting it out. Um, but yes, message in anyway. Let me know where you're watching from. So we've got these PUs which are amazing. So the PVCs have got two different sizes, two different, sorry, options, which it's really difficult to show you because it's got a rainbow glitter. You can't really see it, can you? But it's got the most amazing rainbow glitter. Already 20% is gone. Loads of you already found this on the web. By the half meter is £2.99. This has been so popular. For things like toiletry bags, back to school, uh, pencil cases. It's really lovely to sew with. I wouldn't put pins through it, I'd use your clips. Um, and it's actually not as scary as you think to sew with. Uh, I, I think um, for, for bag makers, this is going to be brilliant, isn't it? It's going to be great. Just £2.99. And is there any way we can show, Marcus, that it's got like a rainbow glitter? It's not the clear. We have also got the completely clear, but it's got the most beautiful sparkle. Oh, it's one of those you need to get at home. Can you just see that little iridescence? That's as close as we can get. But you can see that sparkle. You can probably see it slightly better at the top here. Um, just £2.99. pence. So that's your clear, uh, sorry, your clear glitter PVC. We've also got the completely clear. That's great, isn't it? That is great. It's such good value. Then we've got your clear one. For pockets, just to be able to see through, for, to, to have all of your, for your craft bag, put your rulers in, put your tools in, pencil cases, Toiletry bags and things like that, makeup bags that you can wipe. It's nice and wide, extra wide, half a metre, two ninety nine. You're getting a lot for your money, even if you've never tried working with it. Uh, have a go for two pound ninety nine. If you just get half a metre, that is fantastic. Less than three pounds, great value, isn't it? Let me know how you end up using it. Let me know your projects that you end up using this for. It's brilliant. Uh, so. We've got Hannah Basics coming up, not our Hannah. Ha our Hannah's not basic at all, is she? We've got Hannah Basics, which I've not seen. They're brand new. And we're going to be talking all things stripology. Just a quick reminder, the uh, antibacterial hand gel that we launched earlier on in the hour, it was literally brand new today. We've got an exclusive discount, uh, thanks to Karen from Seams, £8.99. This will sell out today. Now, it doesn't look very exciting here because this is simply a prototype. It's that hot off the press. We wanted to bring it in time for, you know, uh, well, the time that we all need our anti antibacterial hand gel. So you're saving 99p. It's, it, you do get two for 8 99 whereas if you go onto the website, our website as well, it's 4 99 for one. Uh, it's non-sticky. It will absorb instantly. It's got a beautiful scent. It is going to last you as well. You get two of your 50 millimetre bottles for £8.99. It's got pro vitamin B5 in. Uh, so it is going to really lovely, it's going to moisturise your hands as well as, as, as kill up to 99.9% .9 of bacteria. Just £8.99 for two. Uh, so I know the bottle doesn't look very exciting here, but yours will come all branded and labelled all nicely with a yellow lid and will look part of the seams team if you're on the website then you can see uh, exactly what it's going to look like but we still didn't want to let that stop us bringing it to you right hang on do you want to do the big one first or let's go with the big one first 
this is your stripology ruler um now if we could find some fabrics let me see what oh do you know what i've got some calico under here i'm going to do it i'm going to grab my cutting mat bear with me because i'd love to show you for anybody who is uh new to to stripologies creative good rulers are fantastic i mean they really really are fantastic at what they do um if you like me don't really enjoy cutting too much. I mean, it's a big part of quilting and patchwork. It's a big part of any of your projects is doing the cutting first. This is designed to cut out 70% of your cutting time. Stripologies are, are designed by creative grids and they have combined two of the most popular creative grids into one. So they've got the original stripology, which is now discontinued, and the squared stripology ruler, which we've also got today. But they've combined the two into one to create the ultimate cutting ruler so at every half inch you have got a slot that your rotary cutter will slip into to make those accurate cuts so if I put some fabric underneath you'll probably be able to see those markings a bit better right now ideally at home you want to give all of this a really really nice press let me see what I'm doing right so if you're cutting, this is going to annoy me because it's all off, it's all um, a bit of a, it is literally just that it was under the desk, but I'll just do it like this. So, you've got a little key at the bottom here that's got a star that says one and a half inch and it's got a square that says two and a half inch cuts. So, quite often in uh, any of your patterns or in the quilting world, you'll often get calls for two and a half inch strips. That's obviously what your jelly rolls normally are, or your design rolls. At one and a half inch, these are quite useful cuts. You can tell that they're designed by quilters, uh, for quilters. So, you've got all of your little key to be able to, to do your measuring. Every half inch, you've got that slot uh, that your rotary cutter will snip into and make those lovely cuts. You've also got extra dash lines. Now, these are a latest addition to the Excel Stripology Ruler, where you've got a quarter inch, half inch, and a three quarter inch increment. You've also got that extra one here, in fact, actually, the end of the ruler, which you can still cut with. It's a really lovely thick acrylic to be able to use with your rotary cutter. Now, you need to get a big enough mat. It is important that you use the, the best the biggest mat that your space will allow it needs to be bigger than your ruler so when I got a stripology I did have to invest in a larger ruler even if you don't have very much space I don't I sew on the dining room table this gets stored away under the sofa so I would say it's a big big uh, it, you just want to make sure you're keeping it flat but it is important to make sure that you've got um, a big enough a big enough mat now also you want a straight edge. I mean, look, this is if you're cutting from um, a full half meter, then this is going to be ideal. So you always start your cut, line it up with the the, the line on the top. I'm just going to line it up here and line it up with your with your markings at the bottom. There's plenty of markings to be able to do. Always start your cut at a zero. I'm going to then do two, four six and you can carry on so on and so forth I'm not going to because it's quite wasteful somebody might else somebody else might want to use it but there I have got my perfect two and a half inch cut now if I just shimmy this out of the way and use one of those obviously you can cut your strips from strips if you imagine you can cut squares from squares you can then half them and cut triangles another addition to the XL stripology ruler is that you've got lots of angles so they've uh, they've actually put these two angles at the top here the 45 degree and the 60 degree angle which if you want to do equilateral triangles if you want to do well there's loads of options the reason they're called creative grids is you can get really creative you can do virtually all of your cutting with this ruler I'm going to place this onto the 60 degree line and I'm going to cut again at my two inch. So start again at zero, two, four, six, eight. I picked the two because I can do my two times table very easily. There we go. <laughs> I won't do the rest, I'll keep those. But they're all then very quickly, very easily, and you can stack up, you can uh, cut as many as you want, you can stack up. Obviously, I can cut those in half and do triangles, or 
I could place this onto one of the solid lines. I'm going to place it onto... Uh, you could make triangles, Liam. You've No, you haven't guessed what I'm going to make yet. Let me take one of these. So, make sure they're nice and stacked up. I'm going to put that on the point on the five, and I'm going to cut an inch either side of it. Six, four, and I've made hexes and little triangles. So, I mean, the possibilities with the creative grid rulers are absolutely endless that's just the one part of this ruler if i then spin it round i won't i won't go through all of this because i know liam wants to move on but the other part of it we'll talk through with the we will talk through with the uh with the square but you've also got the option to trim up trim up your blocks so you can trim any of your block sizes from four and a half inch to 12 and a half inch these are all your half inch increments and if i spin it again back to the start these are your full inch in black so depending on what fabric you're working with you're always going to be able to see the markings if you're working with lighter fabric you've got all of the the black markings if you're working with darker fabrics then you're going to see your white markings so it's really really handy to have that's the larger one the square is basically that is basically your square blocker so if you are trimming lots of blocks you want to make sure it's nice and accurate don't get me wrong you can still do all the cutting like i was showing you um, but this is 12 and a half inches so you can cut up to 12 and a half inches whereas the xl was 20. it's completely up to you of where your budget is as well and what you use your rulers for is it is it the more do you find it more frustrating doing those uh sub cutting when you read a pattern and it says you need 300 triangles 200 this and 200 that and you think oh my god that's just going to take me hours and hours that's where the XL is going to really come in handy. If you're, you find it frustrating trimming your blocks and making sure they're accurate to then piece together, this rule is really, really going to help you. You've got your perfect crosshair through the centre. You've got your four and a half. All of your half in, in, inch increments, again, are in white. And your full inch, you can see here, are all in black. But they've got really lovely, clear markings throughout the ruler. And I didn't mention one of the most popular reasons one of the most popular features of the creative grid ruler i should say is the non-slip grip a lot of quilting rulers you would need to buy stickers to be able to to put onto your ruler so it isn't going to be sliding uh, when you're cutting now don't get me wrong this will still be able to glide nicely over your fabrics but as soon as you then apply pressure sorry it didn't sound very smooth did it when i'm, I'm doing it over the cutting mat um but here, now you apply pressure, it's going to grip onto the fabric and it's going to keep it nice and steady, which one is fantastic because of the safety when you're working with a rotary blade, safety is key, but also for the accuracy, how many times do you hear the word precision? accuracy when we're talking about quilting and patchwork so you can't go wrong with creative grid they are quilters they are absolute bang on when it comes to accuracy and precision so that's 44 pounds 99 with your built-in non-slip grip now when I, uh, I i met one of our guest designers actually who's already got the large tripology and she was given the mini for for a demo as well and i said well do you need the mini if you've got your larger stripology, do you need the mini one? And she said, do you know what? They, I actually did more so than I thought. It isn't one of those where I'd say, um, you know, buy one or the other. I actually think that they're great for different uses. So if you're cutting from your full half meterage, if you are doing, you know, your larger um, fabrics and you're doing lots and lots of cuttings, the large one's great. If you're doing things like half square triangles, if you're doing uh, charm packs, if you work with charm packs or fat quarters, then it's quite cumbersome to have a big, big ruler. Whereas this is nice and portable, you can take it to any workshops or classes and you're going to be able to do any of those more smaller intricate cuts. Now here, you've got again just like the large one you've got your key of one and a half inch cuts you've also got extra dash lines so you can butt your fabric up if you're thinking right okay actually my pattern is calling for a um, two and three eighths which i wouldn't know how to find on my ruler whereas here i can butt the fabric up against that dash line that says three eighths and I can cut really nice and accurately. So you've got those extra dash lines at an eighth of an inch and three eighths of an inch.
you've got your cups at every half inch increment and then it's got the turnaround feature that if I spin this round obviously the cuts are still every half inch but without having to do the conversion in your head you can see here now that the zero line has moved over there is no cut line there you just it's a placement line and then it's every well you've got quarter of an inch here three quarters of an inch one and a quarter which is still going up half an inch but just without having to do the maths when i first saw the stripologies if i'm being brutally honest I thought it looked too mathematic for me. There were too many numbers and dashes and I thought, oh, this looks complicated. Whereas actually, it does the opposite. It erases doing the maths in your mind. There are so many great links on, uh, on YouTube. There are so many brilliant links online. Uh, uh, there's a bit of a following, really, when it comes to creative grids, that people come up with the most incredible designs using just these rulers. Um, I love them. Once again, just like the larger ones, they've got that built-in non-slip grip. So it's not a, a sticker, it's a built-in non-slip grip. So once again, it will glide over your fabric, but as soon as then you apply that pressure, you can cut nice and safely and really, really accurately. So this is designed to doing your smaller cuts. Can you still square up your blocks? Absolutely, yes. So you can see here, you've got your two inch, three inch, four inch, five, six, and then again in white, if I move the, the calico, then you can see the white lines here. There's just six and a half, six and a half, five and a half, four and a half, three and a half. So if you're doing smaller pieces, if you're doing mini quilts, or if you're doing you know, smaller pre-cuts, then that's gonna be ideal, isn't it? If you just wanna dip your toe in to stripologies, it's 36 pounds and 99 pence, which we absolutely love, 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 love. Okay, uh, the PVCs that we were looking at earlier, sorry, one second, let me just move this out of the way. For the PVC, I, I'm not sure, Poppy. Poppy, right, does it make sense if um, Liam says 110? I wonder if anybody else can help. What I love about our community is everybody sort of helps us out. So if you're sewing with PVC, would you need to change your needle? I'm assuming you will, but I'm wondering what one you would use. A number 110 for leather, PVC, canvas and vinyls. There you go, 110. I hope that makes sense, Poppy. That's um, what Liam's found on t t internet. <laughs> Thank you very much, Liam. Okay, so your PVC. I'd love to know though, please let me know. Message in studio at sewingstreet.com if you've got any tips of using PVC. I haven't sewn with it before, I haven't, um, but I know so many people who have done beautiful bag making and toiletry bags and makeup bags, and it's extremely useful for lots of projects. So um, absolutely make the most of it, 2 99 It's one of the only times we've had it in. So that's your clear PVC. The glitter you can find on the website, the glitter one you can find on the web. Right, loads of you have already bought these on the website. What um, collection is this then? Let's have a look. It's the first time I've seen this. Hannah Basics. They're absolutely lovely, aren't they? Japanese fabrics printed in Japan. They are so beautiful. Now, right, I'm going to keep that still. Sorry, Marcus, because it's a stripe. I don't want to. Um, I don't want it to strobe your screen. Four pounds ninety-nine and a half meter. This would be lovely as a summery bag, wouldn't it? It's got a very, very fine pinstripe, which is probably sending your eyes a bit strange. Um, Four pounds and ninety-nine pence. For your hat, there you go, that's a bit better, you can see clearer there. Just £4.99. pence. This would be lovely for dressmakers actually. It's 100% cotton, quilting weight. This would be really, really nice as a blouse or a skirt, a dress. It'd be nice for, um, absolutely, for quilters. What about binding? I love a stripy binding. Just £4.99 metre. Lots of you already checking out on these on the website before we've even seen them. I wonder when these launch then. These are lovely, aren't they? No, it won't tell you, but um, I'm just wondering, my, my head, because I've not seen them and I've, I've actually been living here. Uh, how pretty is this? Your floral, your blues, your tans. I did get home yesterday. 
I know. £4.99. I had a really boring day though yesterday. I just did everything, you know, when you just change the bed, clean the bathroom, hoover the rug. I've got one of these. Oh, see, you've done fun things. You've been to West Midland Safari Park. Was that good fun, Liam? Other safari parks are available, but not as good as West Midlands. West Midlands is a good one. £4.99, a half metre. Oh, see, that's quite a bit retro -y actually, isn't it? That all the collection works really, really well together. Um, we haven't got a whole mega bundle, but if you are thinking of putting them together, they would look really, really beautiful. I wonder if our Hannah knows about Hannah Basics. Hannah, um, I know, is at home at the moment. She's, uh, she's having a, a little week off to catch up with things at home. Sometimes, I mean, yesterday I had the day off and I, I tried to do as much as I could around the house and it's still just, oh, I get distracted. I'm not very good at it. Ended up watching. I watched Bake Off again. Again. I always, I already watched it on Wednesday, but I watched it again because I found it so funny. You know, when they did the um, the makes, did you watch it, Liam? They do the, the big makes of all of the, uh, the faces. Somebody did Freddie Mercury. Somebody did uh, Charles Darwin. Oh, £4.99 and this has got a really lovely, almost like a denim blue colour. It is 100% cotton, it's your floral spotted blue. £4.99 a half metre. Floral spotted blue. That one's a lovely one for dressmaking actually. Or even if you're just doing pops of colour in pockets or, or uh, jeans. Just four pounds and ninety nine pence. So, sorry, Liam. I'm just going to keep asking you: Are we available to sell on YouTube? If you're on YouTube, then there's a chat on YouTube, which a lot of people like to get involved with. We like to see all your chat on your live chat on YouTube as well. This is your red. We weren't on YouTube yesterday. I know that we had technical problems. So hopefully. We are on today. This is your spotted red, £4.99 half metre. Hi, Karen. Karen said hello to me. Oh, I'm pleased you're watching, Karen, because no one else has come and said hello. Come and say hello. Let me know how you are this morning. Let me know how you are. What's that? Oh, yeah, they do. Liam's so horrible. Liam, I don't get to work with very often. He's producer over at Jewelry Maker and he's come here today and he says, everyone says hello to Debbie, no one says hello to you, Vix. <laughs> Debbie's back next weekend. Oh no, she's on tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow. I get lots of lovely messages. I feel like I'm having to justify to the naughty boys in the gallery who are just thinking that they're being nice, funny. The boys. Just four ninety nine. That deep coral. It's almost a bit like a corally pink on like a raspberry background. Can you please just show the prove them wrong and come and say hello to me? I need floods of messages now. Studio at sewingstreet.com. Studio at sewingstreet.com is the email address. Or um, drop a just drop a message on the YouTube chat. I don't think we're on Facebook today, but drop a message on YouTube chat. Um, you can still message on Facebook. Liam's still watching on the uh, Facebook. There's your studio, uh, sewingstreet.com, which is the email studio um, email address. So there's Facebook. Message the studio Sewing Street TV on Facebook. I think that's the problem. It's just that we hadn't shown everybody how to message this morning. <laughs> Come and message in, I feel lonely this morning. It's because we haven't got uh, my quilt up in the background today. Just £4.99. Flowers on blue. How long, how, how are we doing for time? We're going to have to fly through them, aren't we? So there's your deep blue. Just £4.99. It's such good value for money, isn't it? Thinking for just just having half a metre and taking them for pockets or taking them for cuffs, having them as a pocket square, having them as, you know, you could do some really lovely insides of pockets, just a little glimpse. 
Oh, Angie. Thanks, Angie. I'm very well. How are you? How are you? I um, didn't sleep great last night because, as I say, I changed the bed and then I ended up not having the energy to, to put the bedding back on. So I ended up sleeping in the spare room and I uh, never slept in there before and I just felt strange. It's really weird. Hi, Lou. Lou's messaged in. Oh. Oh, she's retuned and she's finally got us. Oh, brilliant. Lovely to have you back with us, Lou. How are you? Hope you're having a lovely weekend. It's gone ever so cold, hasn't it? It was like four degrees or something this morning when I woke up. It's very cold now. <gasps> it's getting autumn-y, hasn't it? It's a nice crisp morning, though, today. We've been and had our breakfast. We had a naughty breakfast today. It is the weekend, I suppose, isn't it? We went and had a... Um, well, I didn't know that you could have a bacon and sausage sandwich. I thought that was just greedy. I had um, a bacon sandwich. Uh, here you've got your lovely greens. The ditzy print, you've got the most beautiful little ditzy floral print as well, which from a distance just looks like a spot, but actually it's a lovely ditzy print. Just four pounds, 99 and a half metre. Uh, don't forget, by the way, later on coming up at uh, 10 o'clock, we've got early birds revisited. It's going to be fast and furious. Uh, type in the word early bird on the website and check out on any of those as soon as you can because that is going to be a very, 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 very busy hour. It will be the last time that you get to see them at that price. They will, after this show, be put up in price quite often. Sometimes they, um, it is the thing that, you know, manually we have to do take them off the, the, the website so sometimes they just get forgotten and they might be left there for a day or two whereas these will all disappear off the Today show just four pounds 99 and a half meter we've got it in gray as well so you've seen the blue the green and we've now got the gray oh we've got lots of texts coming i say text not text on a what on an email thank you we haven't got a text number yet, have we? We need a text number, don't we, soon? Uh, £4.99, half metre. This is your Hannah Basic Flowers on grey. Just £4.99. Uh, we have got it as well in red. So you've seen it in blue, green, grey and rose. £4.99. Sorry that I'm whizzing through these now, but we've literally got five minutes until Cara's with me. She's excited to be here in the new studio. It's her first time here. She's loving the green room, the dressing rooms. Just £4.99. This is with the rose colour. How gorgeous is that? That's your red floral rose. But they all work together really well. Even if you're putting together one of the rose colours and the greens or the greens and the blues or with the greys, they all are perfect for each other. Uh, the next one is the stripe, green stripes. Is this one. All printed in Japan as well. They're absolutely beautiful quality. 100% cotton. They are... Um, I'm going to say quilting weight. They're quilting weight cotton. They'll be ideal for patchwork, especially as you've got all of the different scales of print. Just four pounds and ninety-nine pence, and it's a really lovely fine stripe. Be beautiful for soft furnishings. Actually, I'm thinking for cushions or blinds, things like that. We've also got the green floral. I might not get a chance to get through all of these. If we do. This time khaki. So is this different to that one? Was that one called green, that last green stripe? This is the same colour. It is, it is exactly the same. This would be the same colour as, as that one. So don't worry if you are mixing them together, even though this is called khaki now, it's the sa it does go perfectly well with the stripe. That is your khaki green with your floral print. Ah, so in fact, that's the same. We should have put that one really with these two. We had them earlier on the rose and the blue that's the same as those check them all out on the web have a look on the website we've got another stripe one uh, so if you liked the green and the blue we've got the gray stripe yeah we've got the gray stripe next i'm flying through these now we're nearly nearly there 
That's your grey stripe 4.99. Check out, by the way, if you've bought multiple units, remember you've already paid your posting and packaging, why not grab yourself some of the antibacterial hand gel which we've launched today from Seams. Five pounds, well, four ninety nine, I should say. In fact, actually, great value for money, isn't it? All of the others, do you know what? We need to get Cara on. So what I'll do is I'll show you them and speak to the team. So we've got the floral in uh, red, floral pink. That one's called pink stripes, spotty blue. Oh, they're nice. I love those. Spotted green and spotted pink. They are really nice, those three. I love that collection. That's very, very nice indeed. Um, they remind me of Kaif. They're really nice. So, they're all on the website. Don't worry. They're all on the web. We want to get Cara on. Thank you so much for all of your lovely messages. Liam said, I have actually had some text messages. He was only teasing me. Um, oh, what you on about? We love Vic. She's the best. Jane, thank you. <laughs> we love Vicky. Great bright, bubbly always, makes me happy. Thank you, Annie -O. Did you do these, Liam? Hello, Vicky. Oh, don't feel left out. You're a lovely, beautiful and bubbly part of the team. Having a crafting, stitching and baking day. Happy weekend. Liz, that sounds like the perfect weekend. What are you baking? Did you watch Bake Off, Liz? Oh, it's so funny. Morning, Vicks. Lovely to see you today as ever. Oh, take no nonsense. I won't take nonsense off these two. Thanks, Anne. Thanks, Anne in Manchester. Morning, Vix. Oh, morning, Mrs. Carol. Good morning. Uh, she said, so nice to see you. Tell the boys in the background that you have thousands of followers. <laughs> just listening to me. They're just listening to the boss. I like that. I've never been called the boss. I'm definitely not the boss. Um, love and hugs to all of you. Thank you so much. And Sue, thank you very, very much. What did Sue say? That was from Sue. Oh, that was from Sue. Thank you all so much for your lovely messages. I know that you're all there. Don't worry. It's just sometimes we're just getting on with things in the morning, aren't we? <laughs> but Liam's like, no one's messaged you, Vic. No one's messaged you. Debbie gets loads of messages. <laughs> anyway, Cara's coming up. So definitely send all your messages for lovely Cara. It's the first time here in the big studio. Very excited to see some beautiful hand-stitched felting projects coming up right after this. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalog by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Hi, I'm Debbie Shaw and as a professional sewer, I really know how important it is to use a high quality thread. Well, you think about it. You spend a lot of money on your sewing machine, you'll spend a lot of money on fabric and you'll spend a lot of time sewing. So why let your thread let you down? I know a lot of our designers and customers prefer to use Aurifil thread. Now this is a family business. It was established in 1983 and they're based just outside Milan in Italy. They produce superior quality threads for domestic and professional sewers alike. And they've achieved worldwide success with quilters, sewers, embroiderers and textile artists who all appreciate the versatility and the strength of these threads. It's all made from Egyptian cotton, which is grown just at the side of the River Nile, and Aurifil only use the long staple threads, which gives their thread that strength. Each one of these threads goes through 15 steps before it even gets onto a spool, and then comes to you to use in your sewing projects.
Now at Sewing Street, we've collaborated with Aurifil and we've brought you two collections of threads. So we have the Quilters collection, and these are exclusive to Sewing Street. We've done a lot of research with Quilters, and these are the colours that you prefer to use. So we've put a whole collection together for you. The second collection is the Essential collection. So this is for the homemakers, for the bag makers, for the craft sewers, for the dressmakers. And again, these have been proven to be the most popular colours that you're going to use. So if you want your projects to last longer and your seams to be stronger, invest in some quality thread. Did you know that if you shop with Sewing Street, you're only going to pay one lot of postage all day? That's one payment of £3.95, no matter what you're buying. And you can check out as many times as you like without having to pay another delivery charge. So shop online at www.sewingstreet.com or you can order via our call centre, which is 0800 001 4433. Hello, I'm Kerry from Living in Loveliness and I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street team. I'm based in Wolverhampton and I absolutely love working with fabulous fabrics. In particular, I love working with fat quarters and showing you how to get the most from your scraps. I love bringing communities of sewists together and encouraging people to sew for greater causes. Most recently, we have been sewing for our NHS and key workers. Um, I look forward to bringing you hints, tips and techniques. I'll see you soon. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Hello, my name's Fiona Hesford and I'm founder of Sew Girl. I'm based down in Worthing on the south coast of England. And I've got a range of sewing patterns which I've developed over the last few years, which are projects for loose fitting clothing, everyday simple garments, things that I really love to wear myself. And I'm going to be bringing you them to Sewing Street over the next few months. So I look forward to seeing you then, bye. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Welcome back, welcome back. Uh, we've got the most beautiful show now for you. I love these bundles. We've not done anything else like this as far as I'm aware since, well, day dot. Uh, I'm gonna say it's a brand new book. It's certainly brand new to me and, and I've not seen it anywhere else, but you might have seen it introduced. I think it's certainly the first time we've done a project from it. Uh, this is uh, beautiful. Is it Corinne Lapierre? It's a search press book, which those of you that work from search press, that fantastic it's fabulous felt 30 easy to sew decorations and, and accessories for anybody who is is new to stitching and new to hand sewing uh, felt is a great place to start it's incredibly af affordable for one today and also um, really really lovely to work with you don't need to worry about it fraying so let's have a bit of a dive in I think this is going to be lovely for Christmas makes and autumn makes Halloween makes it's actually all uh, divided into 
the seasons you've got autumn and winter you've got spring and easter we've got summer we've got home and lifestyle it is as far as i'm aware a new book for 15 pounds with so many so many different projects so it starts off by going through oh it is brand new your um, equipment and materials it goes through things that you might need different techniques working with felt and of course you're going to have today's show to go through different embroidery stitches back stitch french knot just a basic running stitch a blanket stitch how to do them step by step with lovely photographs mock feather stitch lazy daisy stitch then we move into our projects now we're going to be having a look at some of these today you've got summer garden beach hut bunting how lovely is this? Great photographs. I mean, look at how clear the, uh, the images are. You've got some big, uh, a, a mixture of photographs and diagrams, as well as your text as well. It's a really nice book. This is what we're going to be looking at today. We're going to be doing some raccoons and foxes. We've also got some spring and Easter makes in here. Little, little hen cozies. Your little egg cozies. We're going to have a look at how to do those as well. Easter decorations. It's nice to get children sewing as well, if you've got any grandchildren or children who, um, who want to start sewing. Decorative little rabbits, autumn and winter warmers, little mug rugs, wall hangings. Look at these owls. How nice are they? We're going to also show you how to do some decorations, so if you do want to hang them into your window. In fact, I saw something on Facebook and I thought this was a really, really good idea. Halloween is going to be slightly different this year. You might not be able to celebrate as you normally would with maybe going trick-or-treating or with the children or, or going to parties. And I saw somebody on Facebook said, why not? All, let's all decorate our window. Let's put some Halloween decorations in the window. And if you want to then take your children uh, you know, out trick-or-treating or as an activity, what you could do is walk round spotting the windows that have got uh, decorations in and if you then take out treats for everyone that the child finds, every house they spot with a Halloween decoration, they then get the sweets and I thought that's a really, really lovely idea to so still, you know, do something but then still be uh, obviously Covid safe. So we've got some Halloween decorations. I know Claire, who makes things in Sully Hall, will be eyeing those up. She loves her Halloween decorations. Uh, Christmas pixies, lovely mug rugs, felt hanging hearts. We've got some Christmas makes. I was going to say, dare I say it, but absolutely. Um, the John Lewis in Oxford Street have now got their whole Christmas section up and running. And uh, they actually said that I think Christmas card sales are up 50% to last year, Christmas decorations. I think we're all thinking a bit more about you know, gifting something that might be a bit more personal or, you know, spending that time together, you know, when, it, when, you, when you can with your family. And it might not be in big groups or it might not be as you normally would, but celebrating in a different way. Maybe making some lovely things like this together would be really nice. And then there's a whole other section. I mean, it goes on and on, doesn't it? Bag charms, Russian dolls, sleepy brooches, sleepy, uh, sleepy fox brooch is just stunning. Price per project on this. And bearing in mind, you could also incorporate incorporate two or three of them so if you've got the the pillow and and the um, if you've got the the pillow and the the foxes for example you could do foxes on here it doesn't necessarily need to be uh, just using them as they are you can actually mix and match those techniques I love that pillow do you that's really lovely that's your Scandi style pillow your owl pillow oh yeah look at that one that's really nice, isn't it? It's a hoot to make. It is a hoot to make. It's a head turner, isn't it? Soft toys, all using felt. So, I think we need some felt, don't we? There's all of your um, lovely um, templates as well, which you can use. Some of them, if they need to be upscaled, they will tell you. There's a few in there that I spotted that might need upscaling, but other otherwise, they all look to scale. So, that's the book. Let's get you some felt before we go over to Cara. So the rainbow bundle of felt, it's really lovely quality felt as well. Uh, you've got a huge bundle with beautiful colours. Those of you that haven't worked with felt before, we will talk through with Cara any of the, the difficulties or any tips of working with felt. We've got some lovely pinks in there. We've got some oranges. You get two of each colour by the looks of things. Green, purple white you've got black red 
blue and this lovely spearmint. So that's a full rainbow of colour. Oh, in fact, hang on. This is the summer one, isn't it? The one that was open, did you tell me? This looks like a rainbow one to me. Sorry. Hang on. So the one that was open, did you tell me? What, what are the four names? There's Christmas, Autumn, Rainbow and Summer. I think that one could be Summer, you know, because this one to me looks very rainbowy. I'm, I'm wondering whether there's a, there isn't an item code number, but let's go with what graphics did you just have live then? Right. I think Rainbow's this one. Let's put Rainbow back in. This one is available on the website. Sorry, it's not available. Um, it, you need to search the code, basically. It's not appearing for some reason underneath us. So if you search the code, which is W06645, you'll be able to find this. I'm going to unwrap it. Okay, so we were right. <laughs> we were right. The one that's open here, that's definitely rainbow. Perfect. So this one is rainbow, blue, red, black and white, purple, green, orange, pink and purple. All of those are your rainbow felt bundles. So we were right at the start. Then let's go summer then. Now we know this one is definitely summer. I'm just going to pull this off because it's a very tight knot which I'm not going to be able to undo unless you sit here watching me for the next five minutes. Let me do this. Or Okay, so you've got... Oh, my word. That is an amazing bundle, isn't it? Oh, check out on this. You're going to have so much fun with it. Look at that hot, hot, hot pink. In fact, it's slightly more muted on my screen. It's so vibrant. You've got purple. You've got like a rose pink. You've got a light pink. You've got white. You've got all of this. Oh, I love this. You're going to have to search the code on the web. Sorry, it's not appearing underneath us. Don't worry, it is there. It's ABUU61. ABUU61. Search the code in the search bar and you'll be able to find it straight away or speak to the customer service team. <gasps> Look at that. Whoa, you need your sunshades on for that, don't you? That is literally like um, a highlighter yellow. That is so bright. The green. The purple, uh, the, sorry, the oranges, you're going to have so much fun with these. And it's going to go a long way. They're not small pieces, are they? What are they all? Um, nine by nine? Nine by nine, nine inch square. Uh, you've got your peach as well. You've got white. They're great sizes. So they are your summer, your House of Harwood summer felt bundle. And it's lovely quality felt. It's not like, you know, some of the craft felts that you can work with before. And as soon as you pull it, it's going to come straight apart. Whereas this is really, really lovely quality. So that's your uh, summer. Autumn, as we are now officially, can you believe we're now officially in autumn? Uh, this is your autumn bundle, which is beautiful. I must say, I do love the colours in autumn that we experience. Those lovely oranges, you've got greens, you've got reds in there, you've got the burgundies, you've got the tans. Oh, this, see, this is going to be perfect for lots in the book. There's so many different ones that you're going to be able to see in the book. It's O U U U for O. <laughs> Have a look underneath. Uh, oh, if it's not appearing underneath, don't worry, it's O U U U four zero. Lots of people have found it on the website. Well done if you've got it. This is your autumn bundle. O U U U four zero on the web. Let me shimmy this one off and we'll have a look as well. We've also got a Christmas bundle. There we go. So that's your autumn. All of your spearmints, your greens. I'm just giving you a chance to go onto the website and search that code, search the code. Hopefully, um, Liam's being able to, 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 to move them onto the web, so in the next couple of minutes, they'll appear underneath. But they're all there anyway. They're all there everywhere anyway. Oh, sorry, this is um, autumn. Let me move, let me uh, show you rather. This is Christmas. Christmas. Gosh, so I had my first mince pie on Friday, on Thursday. <gasps> How bad's that already? I, I, I like to wait until at least December because I get addicted to mince pies. I love them. And it was a posh one as well. Cat bought them in here. It wasn't me purchasing them. Cat bought them in. And they had um, like a shortbread on the top. <gasps> it was delicious. 
delicious. So these are your Christmas. It's not too early. As crafters, we do need to think slightly further ahead than everybody else. And let's face it, it's less than... Well, way under 100 days now. We were three months to the day yesterday. So there's absolutely no time to, to, to wait if you want to start making some lovely Christmas tree decorations or gifts for people. They're lovely. Um, okay, so that's £9.49. Slightly smaller bundle on this, but you're getting 10 pieces. And again, they're nine by nine. Search the code on the web. You can see it on the top of the screen. It's CA. UU60, CAUU60. Fingers crossed during the demo they'll appear underneath, but if not, just search that code, that item code number. Get the book as well. Get the book as well. If you have any problems, just talk to the team. They're so lovely and they're literally down the road from us. Right, let's dive on over to a lovely Cara. How are you? Hi, well, and it's so nice to be here. It's weird, isn't it? What do you um, think? I, it's lovely. It's, it's really amazing, nice. It? It's so nice to have some space yeah. and, um, you know, a, a table that you can sit at and do some <laughs> prep. You know, no, it's really, really good. Oh, it's, it's so nice to be here. It's lovely to have you here. And especially when we're doing such beautiful uh, hand sewing like this. What did you think to the, oh, the felt bundles? I absolutely love the book. I love felt yeah. and I love stitching on felt because it's just so easy. And it's really good. It's fab for kids to get started and everything like that. Um, but that's the first time I've seen the colours of those bundles in the flesh. I was sent some samples, but not all of them. And they are just gorgeous, Gosh, they're aren't so, they? They're so really, vibrant. That really nice. summer bundle or rainbow bundle, it's just amazing. It's beautiful. And they go beautifully with the threads as well. So, um, nice. you know, the, the packs of threads. I wouldn't say that the packs of threads are for traditional embroidery, but they're get perfect. Started for getting started and perfect for working with felt. Oh, lovely. Um, really, really good. Some right. of these bundles, by the way, are ridiculously affordable. That massive one, 100, me 100 skeins, eight meters on each. I've got, um, it's item code XFZW35. The price per skein is ridiculous. Uh, there's no point at me even trying to, to work out the maths. 100 skeins. Um, which for 14.99 i mean it's easy it, just do the maths that's crazy uh, bearing in mind obviously as an embroiderer like you say you might want to then try working with the different skeins like your dmc i know yes. you're a huge yeah. fan of like you say yeah. they're not necessarily going to be that but no, what but a great perfect, stash builder for perfect, the colors perfect for um getting started and embellishing lovely um you know which is really good and they work very well with the felt so you know don't be sort of afraid of working the threads with the felt mm -hmm. and everything so um i could have got carried away <laughs> i really could sort of making lots of things from this book i've been admiring this book for a while so it was just so nice when uh, they said oh would i do some projects from it lovely so, so what is it that you're going to do from it because there are like you said there's so many <laughs> there are so many i wanted to sort of show if i can show some of the um lovely autumn ones so to start with you can tell that i was sent sort of just some of the autumn um colors of the felt and um these are just gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and i haven't actually mounted them on anything mm -hmm. um the little fox here he has actually got um a hanging loop and i'm going to show you how to um do the hanging loop today um a twisted cord which you can use on lots and lots of different things but this shows you the a three dimensional sort of project that you can make and it is just very simple stitching um, so that's the fox there and then some of these are from an um, autumn hanging so um, you can actually put ribbon through them I didn't have any really narrow ribbon but um, if you had some narrow ribbon you could just put some narrow ribbon through them and hang them so I was thinking about going out for a walk and getting you know like twigs and autumn yeah. sort of you know that I could put in a vase or something like that and then hanging these on oh, there. Oh that'd be lovely. I um, keep finding all these beautiful pine cones. Oh and gorgeous. And they're like really lovely yes, long ones. That'd and really acorns nice. and conkers yeah. and different things like that so you could make a really sort of pretty um, arrangement in or the window or, or something. What um, about like a, a wreath? A wreath, yes. An autumnal wreath. Yes, which would be those. beautiful. And the other thing that I thought of was that if you wanted to, you know you can get the wooden cocktail sticks, yeah. but the long ones, mm -hmm. you could actually put them in that and again sort of make an arrangement in a, a vase. So, um, you know, that's another alternative to actually show, um, you know, show them off. You can get just really carried away. These were the ones um, at, 
a real life size in the book. If you wanted to, you could make a family. So you could make a few of the little ones and then enlarge it, make a, a medium one and then a larger oh, one. Yeah, so you can just play around with them. And um, the other thing, and especially with jewelry maker, is you could get um, some brooch backs. Oh yeah, good idea. So you could actually pop one of these on a brooch back. Maybe not one that you've done both sides but um, you know, maybe pop one of them on a brooch back. Oh. And um, you know, that's just a really nice sort of autumn. That looks lovely, doesn't yeah. it? Um, this one in particular, I think the Sleepy Fox was meant to be like a brooch. Um, so if you're starting to wear scarves and things like that, you could actually use that. And I just think it just looks so lovely. Um, so these are the ones that I've actually made. Um, so if I can just show you the pattern in the book. So at the back of the book, you have all the templates. And what I did was just photocopy them or yeah. you could trace them onto um, pattern paper mm -hmm. or something like that. Um, so you've got, this is the wooden mobile one. So these are all the little pieces. So that's the first thing that you would do is actually um, photocopy or trace and cut out the pattern pieces. And then I just popped my all of mine, because quite a few of them are quite small. Right. So I popped all of mine in a little bag just to keep them safe. Um, so that's the first thing that you would do. Then you would um, draw them onto your felt. And in fact, my um, friction pen ran out of um, power. <laughs> so I wasn't able to use a friction pen. But I used a pencil, so there's no problem. You can yeah. actually trace the things onto a pencil uh, with a pencil. So you trace around your shapes and everything. And um, you usually will do two of everything, unless it's something like the owl, whether, where it's just you decorate the front of it. But the bird, if you're going to hang the bird, you want that to be both sides. So you'll have um, you know, two of everything there. Um, the other thing about doing the two of everything is that you'll be doing your stitching and all your rough ends and everything will be on the inside and you'll be using stitching to sort of go around the outside. This is lovely just with little French knots on it. Oh, I love that. Um, the acorn is, again has got French knots um, and you can either go around the edge with just an over stitch and I'll yeah. show you how to do that in a bit. Um, or you can go around, and I've used a single strand of the stranded cotton, um, which people will sort of think, oh, gosh, that's quite fine. But um, it really works well with felt. It just sits into the felt. So, um, you know, it's really easy to get into the rhythm of doing something. So, um, you know, you cut out all your little pieces and then you start doing your decorating. So that's the autumn range. So I'll just pop that to one side. And I thought it would be quite nice to do something um, slightly different for the demo. Oh, I love this. So um, this is what you would have for the um, Egg Cozy cover. So again, you can see if you, uh, you may not be able to see on the camera, but um, I've got sort of a pencil line going round and I've cut out. And don't worry if you've got any of your pencil you lines showing because you'll actually put the two pieces together like that and then that pencil line will be on the inside and again don't worry if they don't exactly match you can just trim them so that the edges sort of match so the first thing you do with this particular one so I'm going to turn that one over is you're going to place another wing so again make sure if you've um, traced it out that your pencil line is on the inside and you want to put it roughly in the same position as the other one. So I'm just using my eye to sort of look at the distance that I've got there and there. The other thing that you can use if you want to just to hold it in place is your glue pen. So you can actually oh, nice. just pop a, a little bit of glue on the back just to hold that in position That's a good idea. whilst you're doing your first lot of stitching. I love how many uses we've now found for that so long. Glue I know. So I mean, or just pin it. If you haven't got a, a glue, you can just pin it. Um, so those are the, the main body part. Main body part? <laughs> <laughs> and the wing. Makes sense. <laughs> and then you've got um, the comb and the um, beak. So I haven't cut those ones out because I knew that I'd lose them. So I thought, so I'll yeah, place them out and pieces. then cut them. You only need one of the comb and one of the beak. Although I've done two, I'm going to make more than one. Um, so you only need that. And that will actually fit inside the two pieces of felt. So if I show you in the book 
what we're going to be making. And this one I actually thought was quite Scandinavian. Yeah, I love that. It's actually, um, yeah, it is like, I love the Scandi Christmas decorations yes. that you get. Yes. If you do this in some of the Christmas colourways, it could still look quite Christmassy. So this is this one. So you can see that um, that's the actual shape and everything. I followed the pattern that they've suggested in here. There are full instructions how to do the, it. There are full instructions on how to do the stitches and everything. But I will show you some of the stitches here. Um, this is where the little comb goes and the little beak goes. So you can see you only need one of each of those. Um, but it is just so pretty. And then I loved it in the grey as well. Just move that over so you can see. It's got a lovely one with grey and then the white. And as I say, you can make, you know, maybe you've got, um, you know, within your family or you want to make some Christmas gifts mm -hmm. to send in the post. This would be lovely to sort of send in the post for anybody who likes their boiled eggs. Oh, and I do <laughs> think, actually, you know, it's so... It's so much more personal. Anyone can go out and buy things, but to stitch something, I think it is really sentimental, isn't it? It is, and it's like... Um, I hope I manage it, but I've decided, oh, I hope there's nobody watching that I know. <laughs> I've decided to make loads of my Christmas presents. Oh, so, um, you know, I've got friends who've got um, different interests and everything like that. So um, I've, you know, already in my mind, I know the sort of projects that I want to do. Oh, that's so um, lovely. And I just think in this day and age and what we're going through at the moment, a handmade gift is something that, you oh, know, so means that you're actually thinking about somebody, even though you can't necessarily see them. So, um, you know, that's, it's just so, so nice to Absolutely. do something like that. So what we're going to do is actually attach the um, wing to the side of the body. So are you using the skeins here or is this normal cotton? Um, this is stranded cotton. Oh, so I've taken um, the skein of stranded cotton and I've taken just one strand off. So you take the strand off by actually stripping the thread of the um, skein. I'm going to tie a knot. Um, you can tie knots because this is going to be on the inside. So um, what I'm going to do is this feather stitch. Um, oh, nice. This is just down. So this will be going down around the outside of the wing there. So feather stitch is lovely, it's really, really nice. So you start at the top, and I'm hoping that you can get in close enough, and you, you make lots of Ys. <laughs> that okay. sounds weird. Um, so I've got my thread going round, I've put my needle to one side, and I've only done a little stitch like that, and your needle point needs to come up under the thread there. And so it, to me, it is like a Y. And then you go on the other side and you do the same sort of thing. So you go over a little bit, your needle comes down and you, you're going to be going down this edge. So I'm going to actually bring it down there. So you just want to think in your mind where your stitches are going to go. And then again, your point is coming up through the thread through the loop there. And then you just carry on doing that all the way round. See that look that you've made that so much more so it looks so much more simpler than I, I thought it was going to be. It's not difficult. Any embroidery stitch, I always say to people, um, don't be scared, you know, grab a, a piece of fabric, piece of felt or anything like that. As I say, you can enlarge these designs. So if you feel that a single strand's a little bit fine for you to stitch with, um, you can enlarge them and make big ones. Um, wouldn't it be lovely as a tea cosy? Oh, absolutely. I would actually, um, you know, maybe do a tea cosy, but but line it with cotton fabric and wadding oh, nice. or something like that, but have the outside as your, um, your felt. Yeah, like you say, when you've got these shapes. Yes. They're really nice. Yes. You might need to check the shape and make a, a slight alteration on the pattern, um, depending on what sort of teapot you've got. But wouldn't that be lovely nice for Christmas? Cozy. Yeah, yes. absolutely. I've started using my teapot actually. I always just bore the kettle and make a cup of tea, but now I've started actually using a teapot and I love it. I think it's really nice. Having all the nice little projects to go with. I think it's lovely if you lay it out. It yeah. seems more of a ceremony, doesn't it? If you lay out your teapot, um, your tea cups and your milk jugs and yeah. everything. 
um, it makes more of a an occasion. An of occasion, it. definitely. Have you're going to do that for us, Liam? He's just been offering to do a tea round. Oh, I didn't want hear a, that one. <laughs> we've got. We want a teapot with you know, yeah, with a tray. Little, uh, saucers, please. Yes. Yes. Maybe a little cake to go with. Yes, that would be okay. We have got a Greg's near. Oh, sorry, we have got a shop nearby. That, oh yeah, um, well sells. I can say there's a Greg's, McDonald's, and a Subway. <laughs> I've men mentioned three, and they're all within walking ditch distance, which is dangerous. <laughs> really we did dangerous. do a, 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 a dash there this morning, but I have. Uh, restricted myself to no more than once a week oh gosh yes and i haven't be been this tempting. week at all no i haven't been at all this week too tempting but anyway a lovely teapot cover would be nice so this is the yes. feather stitch that's going around the outside of the wing there so this shows you how quickly it can um grow and as i say if you've got a child who wants to do a bit of stitching you know this yeah. is so nice so that's um a feather stitch i will just pop my needle through there Another stitch that's used on here, and I'll just do a few of them, are French knots. So your right, French what's knots. what's your way of doing French knots? Because I know that a lot of people Everybody struggle with it. it. I love French knots. And um, whenever I teach French knots, I teach them the way that I do it. But please don't think that's the only way. Okay. There are lots and lots of different ways of doing French knots. So um, I come out of the fabric and be relaxed. You know, with any embroidery, the tendency is to sort of crouch in and you know be very tense the whole idea about embroidery is sort of enjoying the whole moment and being nice and relaxed and everything so with a french knot you come out of the fabric you have your needle and you hold the thread in one hand so i'm right-handed i've got my needle in my right hand the thread in my left and the needle goes in front of the thread and then you wrap the thread around your needle how many times this one you can do three times so I'm hoping that you can see that. Yeah, really clearly. Our lovely okay. fancy cameras. Okay. Um, or you could go four times if you want a really a bit of a chunky one. And again, keep your thread in your hand and the needle is going to go back into the felt practically in the same hole that Oh, you've up. let go of your needle then? Yeah. Oh, gosh, yeah. I can let go of my needle. Oh, gosh. Let go okay. of my threads. <gasps> So, but do you need to keep that tension with um, your left not hand? Not at the moment. You would actually, this is the stage. So you're at that stage. You've put your point um, of your needle into your fabric and you can see that the thread's wrapped around. And this is where I think people get a bit, oh, right, I'm going to pull it through. Yeah. Don't pull it foot through yet. Just pull on the thread until the thread that's wrapped around the needle has gone flat against the fabric. And then loosely, again, I can pop that down. Oh, I'm not gosh. worried, you know, that I'm going to lose it. And you, again, just pull it slightly. You pull your needle. You don't want to pull it too tight. The tendency is to pull that too tight. But, you know, you, as long as you've got it wrapped around the needle, and then you just pull that needle back through the fabric. Try not to get a knot in the... Oh, that's typical, isn't it? There oh. we go. <laughs> There you go, perfect French knot. Oh, I'll amazing. do it again. Yeah. So do you go back down into the same hole or next Just to? slightly next to it. Okay. If you go into the same hole and you've maybe only gone round your needle a few times, um, the tendency is if you go down the same hole uh, that you've come up, you will actually lose the stitch. Yeah, okay, so sure, I sorry. just go just slightly to one side and then pull the thread again. Again, I'm really loose. I'm really comfortable with that. And it is just something that you have to practice. So I've pulled the thread up. My knot is flat against the fabric and the needle will pass through that very easily. If you want to, you can hold on to one end of the thread that you're not pulling through. Make sure that your thread doesn't knot on its way down. And there's Amazing. another one. That's not so scary at all. And I must say, you will find that it adds beautiful texture to lots of it, your projects. It does. And I mean, I've got um, French knots actually on um, quite a few of the projects, the autumn projects that I've done. Yeah. Um, that one I've done four times round. So you can change the size of your French knot by the number of times that you go round. There are different ways of doing French knots as well. You can have a loose French knot. You can have um, sort of a more three-dimensional one. I've done it. Um, wrapped around the needle a few times there. Um, if you want it a little bit more texture, then don't pull it through so much. 
but that one I think I must have gone through about five times. So it's slight, slightly larger than the other ones there. They look lovely. Another stitch that's used here is stem stitch. A lot of people know how to do stem stitch, but for those who don't, I'll just show you very quickly. Are these all stitches that are in the book, by yes, the way? Yes, they are. Oh, that's yep. so good. 40% yep. of the book um, stock has gone, by the way, and it's literally launched today. Very, very popular. Um, since we, Especially since we started to demo with it, I think we started to realise, actually, there is a lot in this book. But so many pounds. different projects, so yeah. many projects for people to do. So once you've actually um, secured your wing, maybe you've secured your wing with the feather stitch, doing something like stem stitch is quite good because you're actually not going to go through all the way through on the fabric. You're actually going to just go through the surface. So you're, you're able to bend the fabric, bend the felt, and your needle is um, coming through the actual felt very easily for a stem stitch. So I've gone forward a stitch, I've put the loop below and because I'm right handed I'm going from the left to the right. If you're left handed you'll go from the left to the right, uh, right to the left, yeah. sorry. So this is just a lovely smooth stitch. You can do curves with this very easily. Oops. So say so just try and make sure your thread doesn't knot as it's going through. I love the, the sound as well. You can't hear it here. But, <laughs> what um, sound does it make? It's the sound of the... Um, <laughs> that's sad, doesn't it? No, no, go on, try and make the noise with your voice. Try and <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. Tell I can put it done. near there. But it, um, it's acrylic felt. <laughs> okay. So it has actually got, um, you know, a, a bit of texture to it. And um, when you pull the needle through it, it does make a noise. Why did I start this conversation? That was like, did you watch Bake Off on Tuesday? Oh, I've still got it to watch. Oh, sorry, no, no spoilers. But there was one watch. of the guys who said he can tell when the cake's ready by the sound that it makes. Yes. Do you know that? No. But it's also, I, I know a lot of stitchers and a lot of dressmakers and crafters love the sound of scissors through Oh, fabric. I love the sound oh, of scissors. That, that is, is so really good. satisfying, yeah. isn't yeah. it? So there we go. So we've got our feather stitch, our French knots and our stem stitch. The other stitch that I've been using on some of these, and these are just the really the only stitches that you need to do, is back stitch. So you come forward a stitch and then you go back a stitch. I find it's very relaxing. You do a lot of hand sewing, don't you? I Anna? love hand sewing. The only thing that I find is um, during the autumn months and the winter months, I either have to have a magnifier mm -hmm. um, and a, a daylight light. light. And if I've got that set up, I could stitch for the whole day. We've got some of the uh, the tri spectrum lights, which are really good quality. Yes. I mean, I think that they're around the seventy pound mark, which understands a bit of an investment, but it's a really good quality light and magnifying glass. Yeah, we do have the lights, or we do have the magnifiers, but that one in particular, whenever we get it in, you can have it as a, a, a table, you can have it as a desk or a, a clamp onto yes. a you know onto a table. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's really worth investing, especially as now, gosh, the nights are drawing in quick, aren't they? I know. I mean, I, I can sit during the day by a, a, you know, a window and the light is bright enough, but um, I do, you know, find that in the winter months, and that's when you want to be stitching, yeah. so it's worth sort of having an investment like that. So there we go. So there's the stitches that I would suggest that are really good for majority of these particular items. So we've gone through um, how to do those. What I will do on this particular one, although I'm obviously not going to finish, is just show you how you can go around the edge. So you put your wrong sides together. That sounds like the okie cokey, doesn't it? Put <laughs> you your put wrong your side. wrong sides together. <laughs> <laughs> and as I say, any sort of um, pencil marks or um, pen marks, you can just trim off. And then what you're going to be doing, especially with this one, is you're going to be joining the felt together along this line here. Would you try and use a complementing thread? Will it sink into the felt or do you like a contrast? I like a contrast yeah. and with this particular one I like a contrast. If you don't want the stitching to show so much but you still want to get your um, pieces joined together, then if you um, choose a colour that's very similar to your background, it will sink into the felt, so you oh, won't nice. see it so much. So on this particular one, I've used a darker brown for the, the actual hair on the squirrel's tail and for his eyes and his nose, but then I've used a, a complementary one to do my, back, um, my um, blanket stitch around the outside. So again, you know, it's entirely up to you on this one. 
I've done again the contrast colours for the wing, but a complementary colour around the outside. So it, it really does okay. depend and how confident you feel about, um, you know, the length of your stitches. Are you everything. still using one strand? Still using one strand. Um, if you've got a bigger project, you can go to two strands. I think on the Fox, I think I did two strands on there. But again, I wanted to make a feature of the actual stitching. So that, rather is that than blanket it, stitch? That, that's straight stitch. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And... Um, straight stitch around um well overcast stitch around ah. the edge so there are two ways of doing it this one is using the um overcast stitch and overcast stitch here and then this one is using your blanket stitch so you can see there's a slight difference i can see it yeah, yeah between the two and um, this one's really good you can see that um that's the only stitching i've used i haven't used any stitching on the machine or anything like that so if you want to add some stuffing to some of the um, projects, that's a very good stitch to do, but you okay. can also do the blanket stitch as well. So it's entirely, it's your personal choice really. Although within the book, they will recommend, um, you know, the stitch Different to stitches, use. Yeah. So I've tied a knot in my thread and I've actually lost my thread, my knot on the inside. And then I've come up through the seam. I'm just going to come over slightly. And then, I'm so sorry, by the way, that the uh, rainbow felt bundle and the the, the, the felt bundles aren't appearing. Uh, the rainbow one is appearing on the website. The summer, the Christmas, and the autumn. Right, even such, some people are still having trouble finding them. So call the customer service team. They should be up before the the hour ends. Um, so keep your eyes peeled on them. Call the customer service team though, they're so lovely and they'll help you out. So that's definitely the best way. Keep your eyes peeled on the uh, on the web though because they'll appear. The rainbow one you can get on the website. Do you still need to search the code for it though, Liam? No, the rainbow one you can see underneath. Absolutely make the most of that. The others, you do need to call the customer service team at the moment. Or jot the code down and, uh, and have a go in about half an hour or 20 minutes. Sorry, Cara, back That's to you. That's okay, no problem, no problem at all. I'm getting carried away here. <laughs> <laughs> it's just um, so therapeutic, isn't it? Oh, That's it is. So with the actual um, seams and joining the felt together, what I do suggest, do you remember with the stem stitch, we just did a needle action like that? Yeah. With the going round the edge, and either with the blanket stitch or the overcast stitch, I suggest your needle goes vertically down through the felt. So it's sort of like 90 degrees to the felt and you come through the other side, because this is going to be two-sided, mm -hmm. you want the stitches on the back to be as similar to the stitches on the front as you can. So blanket stitch, I've got my thread coming along where the two pieces of felt join. Yeah. And then I pass my needle again. Try not do your needle at that angle or that angle. Try and do it so that it's just straight through and your stitches on the front and the back will be very similar size. And your needle goes round or into that loop that's formed by the thread. And then you pull that through. So you've got your stitch on the front and the back. And there's a stitch along the edge of the two pieces of felt there. So that's one way of joining them together. Another way, I'll just do a little stitch there. Another way is just an overcast stitch. And that one, again, your needle comes from the back to mm -hmm. the front and it comes straight through the felt. Again, not an, at an angle if you can help it. And you're just going to go over the actual felt. I'm making my stitches a little bit shorter here. That's what I like about these projects. They actually come together really quickly. They this do. This is one that you could do, they you know, really sitting there the evening. I mean, this one, I'm thinking that if you didn't want to do, if you don't like boiled eggs and you don't want to do an egg cosy, you could actually um, maybe cut a shape around the bottom and stuff it yeah. and then have them as little, sorry, little hanging, uh, hangings, little um, items on a shelf yeah, in a kitchen or idea. something like that. So don't feel that, you know, you have to sort of do it as an egg cosy. This is the great thing about these inspirational books is that you get lots of yes they will tell you exactly if you want that full guidance of exactly how to do it and what stitches to use but then 
as you get more confident, you'll play around and you think, oh, I loved doing that stitch, mm. I'm going to do that instead, and I'm going to try that into this technique, and you mix and match them. So even though it says there's 30 projects here, there's actually so much more. The cushions, you could change some of the oh applique my cushions, gosh. couldn't and, you? And I love um, the fact that the, the projects go through the seasons as well. You yeah. actually go through and, you know, there's lots of different things that you can do. And as you say, the cushions, the hangings. Yeah. I love the beach huts. Yeah, they oh were yeah, really the bunting, good. yeah. Um, so, so all year round. Yeah. I mean, this one, I think, was um, classed as an Easter, Easter project. Yeah. yeah, but it's all year round, aren't yeah. they? Boiled eggs. <laughs> Well, all chocolate ones. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got your overcast stitch there. So that's the slight difference. So you've got your vertical blanket stitch and then your overcast stitch, stitch, ugh, stitch is slightly at an angle. Nice. Okay. They're beautiful. They are beautiful. Um, I don't know how much time we've got. Have we got a little more? More About time. 15, 10, yeah. 15 minutes. Oh, lovely. Um, so on this one, as I say, you would cut... Cuts. Just a little fine pair of scissors yeah. is, a, is a good idea, isn't it, if you're yes. doing some of these intricate shapes. Now this particular one, I think I did actually use a friction pen, so I'm going to cut round the edge and if you had um, your iron handy, just iron it so you're going to get rid of that black line. Because can I iron my felt? You can, but um, because it is acrylic, just check the temperature. Maybe, Maybe would on you a use scrap your... Um, applique mat, your teflon yes, sheet, yes. early bird special today. Yes, you can do. Um, I'd just try it on um, a bit of scrap um, felt. And then that will actually go into, so when you're stitching, you'll stitch all the way around and you'll come up to here and this is where the crown of the uh, hen is going to be. And again, maybe use your glue pen or a pin just hold it in position, but you want it to be sandwiched between the two layers of felt. And then when you get to that stage, your stitches will be going through the three layers of felt mm -hmm. altogether, and that's holding that in position. And then you've got the tiny little beak there, and you do the same with that. So right. as you're coming round. Glue pen, like you said, would be really handy actually yes. for that. Yes, yes. I, I, I was, um, with some of the small items, I was struggling with having a pin there holding mm -hmm. it. I thought, I know what I'll use. I'll use the um, yeah, glue pen. Yeah, good idea. Okay, this is another lovely Look one. Look at these bright colours. Oh, um, actually, let's go to the book. Let's see if I can find it in the book. And these, again, are just gorgeous um, for Christmas as well. So um, it's the bird... There is actually a Christmas section, isn't yes, there? Yes, so there is. I mean, we're it turning is. everything into Christmas because mm -hmm. it's nearly Christmas. <laughs> we need something to look forward to. But yeah, they'd be really beautiful for Christmas projects. So this is just a bird a hanging. But can you imagine if you use, yeah. well, depending on what your, um, you know, your decoration colours for Christmas are, you know, you can play around with the colours. But these are really, really lovely and so, so simple to do. I mean, I've got the small ones, so you could do a mixture you could have the small one and then the large one and um, but play around with your colors so this was the autumn one but then i decided i thought right okay i'm going to go a bit bright and colorful oh and i then, love those They're what gorgeous. you can do is you can swap the colors around so i with this one i've done the turquoise with the um bright well the purple and then your wing can be in a contrast yeah. colour. So you, again, you can do the same with the other ones. And, you know, again, with your stitching, if you choose a similar palette of colour, it just sort of pulls it all together. So that's what I would do just as a general one. Can you imagine doing um, a summer one? You could do one for each season, yeah, couldn't you? Yeah, that's it. You do an autumn one, a Christmas one, and then I'm afraid I get a bit carried away, you know, if you've got metallic threads. Oh beads, sequins, anything like that. You can get really carried away and add sort of extra bits to it. Because you could, like, I know they've said here, this is like a hanging as in a bunting hanging, yes. but you could do them individually. And yes. you're going to show us in a bit as well how to yes. do the loop the hanger. Because yeah. you could do those and put them on the tree, can't yes. you? Yes, yes, absolutely. Um, and this particular one, if you can see there, I've just used running stitch, which is just over and under there then stem stitch all the way around, and then a back stitch. And I've got a bit of room in the centre, so what I might do is um, some more running stitch, 
and then on the little one I actually did just a little bit in the centre and then a, a single chain or a st single lazy daisy stitch. So you can get, you know, a bit carried away. You can stitch the eye or you can make the eye from felt. So that's an option. Um, on the owl, I loved, that's just, um, you know, a piece of felt with a French knot in the centre and then the straight stitches. You've got straight stitches on the wings there. So you can get carried away. You oh, can I love make them. each of them individual and um, just play around. And because you've got all those gorgeous colours to play with, um, as of threads as well as felt. So that's that one. Um, you don't need to worry about it fraying either, which is no, benefit. No, no. And also seam allowance. Okay. You know when you're making something from um, fabric that's going to fray, you, you need to allow for the seam allowance. With felt, you don't have to. No. You really don't have to, which is good. So, so about six minutes, Cara. Oh, lovely. So I wanted to show you as well the other one that I love from this book can find it is the Halloween one so I wanted to show you that and then do the car cord the twisted cord oh yeah Halloween is great that did you like my trick-or-treat I do yes oh, that's really good we've you? we've actually in our village that's what they've suggested so that oh, it um, must be a thing yeah. you know we we don't have any young children now and um what we do my husband's got an allotment so he he grows the biggest pumpkins out <gasps> And he loves carving them and putting candles in them. So we put those out at the front of our house so that the children, when they're coming and doing trick and treat, yeah. know that we're, you know, quite comfortable with them coming. Yeah. But I think decorating the windows, yeah. I think it would be really nice. And if the mums and dads and the aunts and uncles, you know, if they're taking the children, um, obviously socially distanced and all of that, rather than um you know having the sweets handed from the houses i think it's lovely that they say well everything you spot you'll yeah. get a sweet yeah so i think that's really really nice yeah. i might actually join in i yeah. might go around absolutely <laughs> i just keep myself i'll buy myself a big bag of sweets and be like spotted one no, yeah spotted one. <laughs> um so these are um here's all the patterns and the tiny tiny little bits here but isn't that just gorgeous? So this is black felt and she's got her dress that's hanging on the line. And this is another way of displaying. So I know that people mm. have these little tiny, tiny little pegs that you can get oh, yeah. and then just some string. And, you know, if you're going to decorate a window, you could do that's that very really easily, like couldn't you? Line. And just hang. Yeah, it is like a washing line. So um, so we've got. Um, just the blanket stitch going round. The only thing that they say is um, because it's a dress, you can cut, cut a curve for the neck. Mm -hmm. So that's the front of the dress there. I know you can get those little pegs in the shops where they sell yes. everything for a pound. Yes. Yeah. And then. Oh, the in fact, actually, can you? Have you got them? In fact, if you've got your P and P already, you can get them on the Jewelry Maker website. Liam's telling me. Oh, perfect. Perfect. And, and the mini pegs. And mini brooch. pegs and the brooch bags. Bats. Perfect for this. In fact, they'd be lovely as Halloween little brooches, wouldn't Definitely. they? Definitely. And with some of those neon colours, can oh. you imagine? Oh, I mean, that one. Whoa. It's so good. That's amazing. Right, so how many pegs do you get? Oh, that's better than the ones that I've seen in the, even in the, the shops that I've said. Um, how many do you get? 50. You get 50 pegs for 4 95 and it's actually covered in our posting packaging as well. The item code for that, if you want the little mini pegs, are B, S, sorry, E, S. Right. <laughs> v for Victor. Vicky. V for Vicky. <laughs> oh, wait, Liam's going to find it. Go on. S for sugar. T. Are you doing it too quickly now? I can't hear. It's just showing you. It just says I'm going to show you instead. There you go. Thank you. Um, there it is. Perfect. £4.95. Your item code number is, if you click more details, is there. V-S-T-A-98. Thank you. Oh, good shout, Liam. Well done. Oh, fantastic. If I'd known that, I could have done one. <laughs> um, so you've got the dress, you've got the hats. On this one, they've actually added some um, ribbon, but you don't have to. You could have your six strands of stranded cotton. You can use that. You've got your cats with green eyes. Oh, nice. And um, just w a single face. So the actual face will just go on at an angle like that. And you do your um, blanket stitch round. For the um, 
stocks. You'd use um, the strand of cotton again and just do big stitches all the way around. So just using the stripes there and you still use your um, blanket stitch sort of to hold the two pieces together. And then look at these dinky shoes. That's so good, isn't it? So you've got your dinky shoes there. And again, you're using your thread, you're tying a little bow there. And how about these bloomers? So you've got your French knots. So they're spotty bloomers oh, there. Oh, nice. You've French got, knots? Yeah, you've got your um, blanket stitch down the side and underneath there and then up the other side. And then just tie again some threads. So it's so easy to sort of just get, you know, look a bit carried away and use these. And again, if you've got a twig or something like that, yeah, you could hang on. it from that. Um, Good idea. Oh, I love these really, different ideas. Really nice. I know that this year is a bit strange and yeah. a bit different, but it's actually really nice, I think, to decorate the window. Um, right, so we've literally got a minute or so oh, left. Gosh. If we can show that twisted cord, that'd be brilliant yeah. because I think this is really useful. I hope I can do it that quickly. I'll show you just um, a general length. What I would normally do is actually um, ask a member of the family to hold it, but as I can't get close enough to anybody here, <laughs> I've, I've found a clamp. So I'm going to, so you cut a length of thread. Yeah. And you can have this different thicknesses. You don't have to just have it a single thickness, but I found the single thickness of thread was good. Pop that under a clamp like that. And then, oh, take a pencil right i think it might be better on this camera here thank you we can okay. see you yeah come down and then um you just twist because i'm doing it this way i might actually no i'll carry on like this so you'll twist pop a pencil in the loop that's formed and you just carry on twisting as i say i'm making this look really awkward because i normally do it the other way but um, no you're not making it look all <laughs> just keep spinning well you it can around. usually spin it around very quickly and because well, i might, might be able to oh yeah here we go whilst you're twisting and twisting yep. just to remind you the book is 15 pounds it is brand new today 70 percent of the stock that was well that we have full stop not allocated for today that we have in stock has now gone great way of getting the children sewing if you're new to hand sewing or if you just want i mean cora has been hand stitching for years and years and years and she's still really thoroughly enjoyed working oh, from this book <laughs> so it doesn't need to just be for beginners you've got 30 fabulous and stylish accessories for all year round so that's the book and the three bundles or four bundles i should say just to remind you the summer one the rainbow one is available on the website which is this one and you get two of each color i've got green blue red black white purple more greens oranges there they are 1949 and you're getting 20 different colors nine by nine so all of those colors for less than 20 pounds the summer which i adore is this one and even though we're calling it summer there's still some lovely rich colors that are lovely for autumn take a note of the code it's abuu61 check the web or call the customer service team check the web in a little bit it should appear on the website asap all of those nine by nines, these are your really lovely bright colours for £19.99. There are the autumn and winter, uh, sorry, the autumn and Christmas, which are available as well. Sorry, back to you, Cara. That's okay. So I've twisted as much as I can, and you'll get to know when the, the um, actual cord is the right twist. And then you take the end off, and you'll notice as soon as you let go, let me just, ooh. okay, mm -hmm. as soon as you let go, it twists together, like that. Oh yeah. And there's your twisted cord. Oh nice. So what you can do is use that for the actual hanging. Oh so perfect. You that, so you can have the colours to match whatever you're making. How quick and easy is that? Uh, it's just so easy and if you want a thicker one you can use this for so many different things. You can use your thread like this and use it for going around a cushion. Mm. You know just um, it's just a twisted cord but what's so nice is that it, it tones in with everything you're Absolutely. making 
and that's just so easy. Brilliant. Thank you ever so much. Thank that's you for okay. all those tips. We'll see you in an hour with the yep. clutch bag, yes. which is really pretty. Really, really pretty. We'll see you in an hour. Thank you, Cara. Right, I know that we didn't get a chance to go through all of the different embroidery floss, but there are um, all of these on the website, the rainbow, um, the bright, and the pastels are all there as well. But grab that one, the value for money in the 100 skeins, and you've got loads in there. 15 pence a skein. I can't believe I'm even saying that. Uh, do make the most of all those bundles. Thank you ever so much. Stay where you are, though. We've got the early bird special bonanza coming up. All early birds back to back for one whole hour after this. Hi, I'm Debbie Shaw from Sewing Street, and these are my five top tips for successful sewing. So, number one, always use a good quality thread. A good quality thread will keep your seam stronger and also help to prevent lint building up inside your sewing machine. Tip number two, if your project isn't going quite according to plan, put it down, walk away from it, come back again the next day and you'll probably find that things don't seem half as bad as they did. My tip number three, never throw away your sewing machine manual. Always keep it to hand because you're going to find hints and tips, techniques and troubleshooting in that manual. You'll miss it if you lose it. My tip number four is to read your pattern instructions before you even cut out your fabric. Different manufacturers of patterns will give you different instructions, different ways of constructing your garments and different seam allowances. So to have a successful garment, you need to follow the instructions precisely. And then tip number five is don't give up. Every professional sewer sewed their first seam. Every professional quilter quilted their first quilt. Every professional quilter sewed their first line of wonky stitches and had to get out the quick and pick. That's no different to you. So I hope you find these useful. If you want more hints and tips, then why not go to Sewing Street on Channel 74 on Freeview, on Sky 670, and of course we have a YouTube channel where you can catch up on previous demonstrations. We'll see you soon. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Did you know that if you shop with Sewing Street, you're only going to pay one lot of postage all day? That's one payment of £3.95, no matter what you're buying. And you can check out as many times as you like without having to pay another delivery charge. So shop online at www.sewingstreet.com or you can order via our call centre, which is 0800 001 4433. Hello everyone, my name's Cara Ackerman and I'm absolutely delighted to be here at Sewing Street. Um, I actually originated from Hertfordshire, then went down to Hampshire and then it ended up in the East Midlands. I've been in the East Midlands for about 40 years now, which seems crazy. Um, but 36 of those I actually worked with DMC Creative World, um, which was wonderful. I really, really enjoyed that. And then um, I decided to go freelance, and that's how I got introduced to Sewing Street. I love doing anything to do with um, textiles, so embroidery, cross-stitch, patchwork, done a bit of quilting, bag making, toy making, oh goodness, there's loads and loads of things. Um, what I love doing is just trying something new, and I think one of the tips is don't be frightened of trying something new. Um, you always learn from it, and you know, don't be scared of making mistakes either. We all learn from the mistakes that we make. Um, little bit about me that you might not know and that's a bit of a surprise um, I once went to the garden party down at Buckingham Palace the Queen's Garden Party for some work that I did with Marie Curie I was so so lucky to go there and just a wonderful time and um, so I hope to see more of you on Sewing Street and I hope to try lots of new crafts with you so see you again soon bye bye
Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers Landing Page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Welcome back, welcome back, oh, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Um, uh, we have got the most amazing hour now of early bird specials every morning, eight o'clock. If you tune in, uh, then you get to see the most incredible deals, some of your favourites, some of our favourites, some products that are, are brand new, some products that have been on stock before, but everything reduced. Now, I did probably do a bit of a boo-boo and said, search the word early bird at first thing at eight o'clock this morning. And a lot of you have taken my advice and done that. And in fact, we went to put all of the early birds out and Liam said, no, put that back, sold out, that sold out. That sold out. So there's actually so many that we haven't had chance to even air. Um, but there's some of these products that are nearing up on selling out that we might not get a chance to do. Just like this bag. Um, I know that Paul's mum, our oh, Paul's got, uh, mum's got this one. It's brilliant. Now, whether it's for your sewing machine or whether it's for uh, storage of your fabrics and uh, bits and bobs from your craft room, it's brilliant. Now, when I had a bit of a look elsewhere, uh, the price point that I saw on this exact same bag, well, I say exact same, it had a spool as a, a, a key ring instead, and it was a different colour around the edge, but it was the same one, and it was $21.99, which is a brilliant price, bearing in mind when I've done my bit of research with, shot, uh, with sewing machine bags before, especially ones with a pocket and of this quality, they've been about £30. This is just $15.99. So, let me go through the dimensions so that you can check if it fits with your machine. It will definitely fit with any of the 550, the 560, maybe you got the deal with the 550, get yourself a bag. Because uh, it's they're, they're nice with the smaller machines, especially if you want to store them away. So, it's 32 centimetres from here to here, your height is 32. 46 centimetres from here to here, 46 width, and 21 deep 21 centimeters deep just so that if you want to have a quick check and see a measure to see whether it will fit with your machine i think if i'm not mistaken i think you can fit the 680 in here it's just a bit of a squeeze but check the measurements with your machine uh, to find out but it, it's got a lovely pocket on the front as well so you can keep all of your uh, your power cord your foot pedal all of that sort of thing um, and you've got a nice little key ring isn't it lovely i absolutely love this bag only £15.99, which is a special price. We had it as we had it in turquoise and we had it in purple. Purple's now completely sold out. This is going to be the final few chances of being able to get it at this price. I did say at the start, after this showcase, everything that you see on this show will then be put back up in price. So I know sometimes if you search early bird, I'll definitely do it every now and then to see what's on there because sometimes people uh, you know, forget to take them down. But today, all of these will be taken off the website later on after the show. $15.99, it was an early bird special and now it's your final few chances of being able to get it at $15.99. Uh, should we do the glue pens? So the glue pens um, you saw Cara using earlier on. I didn't realise that we did an early bird. This is something that is completely unnecessary. When we start to talk about Soline glue pens, I feel like we literally get all of Soline stock because they come in and they disappear. Um, you can use them whether you're an English paper piece out is what we sort of see a lot um, is EPP. You also see bag makers using this with zips. In fact, I heard Debbie Shaw talking to Delphine about could you use this with difficult seams trying to match them up for quilters. It's something that 
Um, you, uh, there's so many possibilities of using it. With your felt, this is great for more intricate pieces, to hold things in place. Maybe if you can't pin it, maybe if you don't want to pin it. The great thing about this is it's a, spe uh, it's a specifically developed glue. So it's not like using a prick stick or a another craft glue, do you know what I mean? And the reason that I say that is because I've tried it, I've tried it at home and it will gum up your needle, it will um, and, uh, it will hold in place, whereas this will not gum up your needle. It's a temporary hold, so just, it's, it's, it's quite um, a low tack glue. You get a full glue stick in each of these pens, plus you get your refills for £10.98. Now I know when Kat was in the depth of lockdown and absolutely addicted to her English paper piecing, she said I had to get a refill off a very very famous website that's you know the same name as The River and um, she said it cost her, I think it was, don't quote me on this, but I think just for the refills, just for I think two refills, not the pen, it was about £12. Um, so to be able to get two pens plus Plus two refills for £10.98 is just brilliant and let's face it, it's good to be able to have two pens because I thought at the start, do I want two pens? But actually you do, you'll find them so useful. Let me show you, I'm just going to open this so you can see how to refill it. Now this is blue, don't worry that it's blue because it will dry com completely clear no matter what fabric you're using on. It is de especially developed for sewers. Once you get to the end of your glue stick, you'll see that white tip. Now to, to refill it, all you do is pull it out, put your next one in, and wind it down. It's really, really easy to refill. And oh my word, you'll find this so useful. I said to Cara, and I didn't know that we actually had it in the show, and Cara said, I said to Cara, we find so many uses for this glue pen. It literally lives on our set because the amount of guest designers that ask, have you got a glue pen? Have you got a glue pen? And it is especially developed for sewers. So £10.98 for that. Easier than the pins, I find, actually. Both of them. Brilliant price point. Go on. Somebody's found on the website that's not on our show. We shouldn't have it. The black and purple sewing machine bag. Is it on there? Oh, the stock available. If you want the black and purple sewing machine bag, I think there is availability. Is it? Does it look like it's at an early bird special price? Yeah, it is. It is. It's at an early bird. We don't have it. You're looking around for it. We don't even have it here. It wasn't here, Liam. Liam's like frantically looking around for it. We've never had it here at Sewing Street. Um, at the new studios, we've not had it at the new studios, but if you go to the website www.sewingstreet.com I don't know if this is a mistake, whether it's literally just come in and they're going to do a relaunch, but grab it now. So, if you loved the purple and turquoise, sorry, the, the black and turquoise, if you get that, brilliant. If you want this, it's also at an early bird special. Someone just found it on the web, well done, because we hadn't spotted that, you have got eagle eyes. I just think these are great craft bags, aren't they? I know that they're sewing machine bags, designed for sewing machine bags. So they've got nice little feet at the bottom. They've got a really strong Velcro handle. That I don't think should be in today. Well, it wasn't scheduled for today's show. Absolutely, make the most of that, definitely. Okay, um, freezer paper. This is arguably one of the most popular early birds we've ever done. Uh, freezer paper is something that is very, very difficult actually to get here in the UK. It's an American product, and if you see it, you know, in America, they on, on a website in America, you'll probably have to pay quite a hefty shipping charge. Whereas today, just covered under one postage and packaging of three ninety five all day. That is all day, only one p and p all day long. You're getting two twelve meter rolls for ten pound ninety eight. That's saving two pounds, and you're getting loads of freezer paper. Now, is one of these open? I don't think it is. I was going to show you basically the texture of it. One of the sides got quite a shiny side, which you can actually iron. What I love using this for is if I want to make a template of a heart, for example, and you want to do heart echo quilting all on, on a design, this would look beautiful then. And you can simply stitch round it with your free motion foot or with your, your normal foot and then peel it off, re-stick it down and use it again. I was on Pinterest, don't quote me on this, but there is something stupid, like 80 odd ways of using freezer paper in crafts. There is so many ways. You can use it for loads. Um, it's all right, I don't know. I, I don't want to, uh, 
I was just going to show you the texture, but I know so many of you are aware of it. Um, so for applique, for quilting, for so many everyday projects, I think um, a lot of people use it as well just to protect their table, to protect their table surface when they're doing any of the colour me in panels or things like that. It's very, very useful indeed. It was originally designed to wrap food with. So I love the fact that as crafters, we come in and we find something, we make it really useful for the crafting world as well. Two rolls, early bird special price of £10.98. I'm surprised that we were able to redo this one. When we put together our early bird specials, we go through over the months and see, right, which ones have been really, really popular and which ones we all love here. And this is one that I was thinking, I don't think we'll be able to bring back. Uh, the value for money is absolutely amazing. Here we are, two rolls, early bird special price, big savings galore. Whenever we do promotional offers like the early bird or like yesterday with free p, &P today, it's like that. It feels like that because the amount that you are saving, if you're purchasing throughout this hour, what I would do is I'd just make a bit of a tot up of how much you're saving. So if you bought the applique mat at the start, pound saving. If you're buying this, two pound saving. If you bought the, uh, the, the Solan glue pens, again, jot this down and see how much money you're saving. It's brilliant, isn't it? So that's your freezer paper. We've also got, see, I've only ever seen these full price. I didn't know that we had these in, as an early bird. And are they bundled with the refills, Liam? Brilliant. I love this pen because I find, if I'm being brutally honest with you, that chalk is probably my, uh, it isn't normally my first choice of marking tool. And do you know the reason why? Is because I find chalk can be very, very messy. Whereas this is the first time that I've seen a chalk pen that is literally in a pen like this. So it's not messy. It's not going to be all over my hands. It's not going to be all over my bag. It's not going to be all over my project. You use it literally like a pen. It's got a rubber on the end, or it can obviously sort of wipe away the damp cloth. It's got a pencil sharpener in here, a pencil sharpener. You sharpener for your chalk as well in there. Um, and you've also got loads of refills. Now to refill it, if you press it down, hold it down, it will simply slot out like that. And again, push it in. You get loads of chalk just on each, uh, on, um, each one, but then look at all of the colors you're getting. So you've got yellow, pink, purple, white, orange, green, blue. It doesn't stop there. You're getting even more white. I know we like to use it for dressmakers. Uh, it is probably the most traditional method of marking your fabrics. If you are, you know, if you do love your chalk uh, and you see it normally in your triangles of chalk, have a go with the pens because this is great value, isn't it? You're saving a massive five pounds on this, one of the biggest early bird special savings I've seen. Now this one, it looks a bit confusing because that looks like another pen on here. Ignore that. It's not a pen, <laughs> just a picture. Uh, but you get even more refills, so that's going to last you so long, isn't it? I think this would be a really nice gift for somebody, actually. And if you're a quilter as well and you want that accuracy, sometimes when you're drawing with chalk, I find that the chalk mark itself can be quite wide and you're thinking, right, actually, that's a difference of a few millimetres or, or, you know, a quarter of an inch or something. It could be near enough to your seam allowance if you, you're using a thicker chalk. Whereas this, you've got such a lovely fine point, especially that you've got the sharpener as well, so you can really control that accuracy. £16.98 pence with a five pounds massive early bird saving that is the last chance today to get this with that saving we are will up the price on that one after today's show so absolutely make the most of it it'll be five pounds more if you want to get the bundle okay what am i doing now sorry this now this on my uh, box here says a 167 piece professional sewing kit, whereas on your graphics it's going to say starter kit, which I absolutely love. This is like um, a real fancy box of chocolates. This is how I compare it because, let me try and open it. Here we go. What I love about it is that it opens up into two layers. So you have got so much here. Now, uh, it's 167 uh, items in here. If I spend one minute talking about each item, let's go 30 seconds talking about each item. We've virtually finished the show. In fact, we're uh, after the show. So I can't spend too long talking about it, but just very quickly, you've got Velcro, you've got clips, you've got pins in a nice little tin. 
you've got elastic, you've got machine, jean needles, you've got some yarn, we've got some, um, that looks like, is that more? No, that's um, threads. You've got a little bulldog clip, you've got a thimble, you've got your universal machine needles, you've got some safety pins, pair of scissors, uh, you've got a tape measure, you've also got a chalk pen, this is like a three in one, you've got your chalk pen, your eraser, your brush, and that looks like a hair marker to me on the side. You can do some marking with that as well. Loads, plus all of your threads. Some extra bobbins. You've got some more threads. You've got some elastic. That is like gold dust at the minute. So I uh, was making my own face coverings. I was making my masks, and um, I went on to, I tried to get some from our website, from Jewelry Maker. I've tried to get them everywhere online. Uh, I ended up purchasing from a company. I went to every shop. My friend said, oh, they stock it in the supermarket there. They stock it here. No, everywhere was out of stock. I ended up purchasing it on my, um, I've got like instant next day delivery on a website. And I thought, oh, it must be here soon. And then I rechecked it on my email and it said it was arriving like two months later. It's like, oh my word, it really is in demand. So this is great. You've got two different thicknesses of your elastic there. You've got your quick and pick. We've got some monofilament. We've got more threads, more bobbins. You've got this really lovely store case. Let's divide, Liam, the price by 167 items. Bearing in mind, how much you pay for your sewing machine needles? A few pounds in there. How much you pay for your scissors? We're at 10p an item. What a great gift idea for somebody for 16 99 And whether it be, you know, your, your, um, your stash that you're starting out or maybe somebody who's, who's gone off to university, it's always really handy. We always had, when I was growing up, I remember sewing boxes like this in the house and my mum was necessar not necessarily like the... Uh, no offence, Mum, if you're watching. Not the greatest sewer, but we, she'd always, you know, like to do the, the mending or putting my names on the school uniform and embroidering them on and things like that. So it's really, really handy to have. Although my mum has got really, she's got back into it now since I've been part of Sewing Street. She rings me all the time. I've managed to um, sort of a sewing machine and she was saying, how do I do this? How do I do this? How do I do this? So she's getting really into it. She's wanting to start Delphine's needle felting now amazing isn't it her artwork is just gorgeous I think the autumn woods kit is available still um, so that's your comprehensive haberdashery kit 167 items in there for 16.99 brilliant saving three pounds what are we recapping sorry our early bird special this morning is your applique mat non-stick. Your glue will not stick to this. It's like a Teflon sheet. You can use it as a pressing cloth or you can use it as an applique mat. It's great because none of your bonder web, the glue of any of your fusibles are going to stick to it. It doesn't need to just be necessarily bonder web, but any of your fusibles aren't going to stick to it. So it's a reusable pressing cloth You uh, for applying to your fusible web, any of your applique, your gluing, applique for crafts it's a big piece it's 31 centimeters by 30 all of your instructions are on the back but if you're using that it's just going to protect one your iron two your surface three your project from any of your glue that's just five pound 99 i could just i could just walk across or show the email liam liam's like oh should we show her a video before you get up and now I'm like actually do you know what? I can walk across I don't dilly dally you know um, I know that Kat and and, uh, and Joe were moaning the other day that I take a stroll over so then I raced over there and then I got in trouble for running in the studio so if you do want to get in touch with us today it's studio at sewingstreet.com studio at sewingstreet.com if you've got any messages for us come say hello Facebook, Sewing Street TV, we are keeping an eye on the website. Let us know what's your favourite early bird. What are you making? Let us know what you're up to this weekend. I know lots of people are saying they're crafting and baking this weekend. Let me know what you're making. Can we do the wadding? So, um, this was a brilliant early bird. This was one of my early birds last week. It was one of the, the most popular early birds I've done in a long time. And when we're talking about waddings, I know it can be a little bit of a minefield. Um, I'm still learning, if I'm honest, about what waddings you would use for what project. And I'm, start, I'm starting to learn that it is um, personal preference a lot of the time. It is personal preference. How you like your project to feel, how you like your quilts to feel. Now, this is brilliant value. It's, if I'm not mistaken, queen size. It is queen size and you're saving five 
pounds. So even if you're not doing queen size projects, queen size quilts, don't worry. You can cut this up and use it for smaller projects, but it's beautiful quality. This is just so simple, super soft wadding, and um, it's an 80-20 mix. So you can, it, this is your poly cotton mix. And personally, that's what I like. You've got the natural fibers of all of your cotton, uh, which give it that beautiful soft uh, and supple feel and give it beautiful loft. But then you've also got 20 20% polyester. So if you are making uh, children's play mats, if you're making quilts that you know you have on the sofa that you want to chuck in the wash, then this is going to be really nice and easy to, to wash as well. You can actually stitch this as close as you want, but you can stitch up to 10 inches apart. So if you're quilting, some of the waddings, it's worth having a look on the pack because some of them say you need to stitch sort of three inches apart. So that means you need to do a lot more quilting. Whereas with this, if you haven't got a massive machine, um, I find it is a lot easier because 10 stitches apart, you can, 10 inches, sorry, apart, you can stitch and do straight stitching or your cross hatch or any of your free motion, it's going to be beautiful. Uh, and because it's almost like this lovely um, natural colour, it is needle punched as well. So it's not going to have any bearding is what they call it, like any sort of loft poking through your fabrics poking through your quilt it is all needle punched but it's beautiful now they do recommend from so simple that that you pre-wash this by hand and let it dry naturally so that's not washing it in the machine as i say put it into the bath let it soak have a bit of a research into to washing your, your waddings first but again i know that that's personal preference and not everybody does do that so it's 39.99 it's saving five pounds today which is Brilliant. Now, I was watching Debbie's Early Bird. I think it was last week, wasn't it? It was the week before um, Debbie was here last time. And she had the most amazing early bird. Two colour me in panels and the pens. Now, me and Liam have had so much fun with this before. I don't know where they've put our sample, Liam. Because um, it's a masterpiece, really, isn't it? Maybe they've sent it to the v and um, Oh, it's... Tony's favourite early bird was the sewing machine pin cushions. We'll be getting them again. These ones, we've got the pin cushion, we've got the little dog. We've got the little dog. Oh, the sewing machine one, I know, the black one with the base. Yeah, they're really nice, aren't they? Oh, we've got to try and get those back in, yes. So, this is your fairy tale one, which is one of my favourites. You've got the castle, the dragons, the horse. And it isn't just for children. Liam and I had a whale of a time over at Jewelry Maker a few weeks ago when this one first came into stock. You did the dragon and the castle. I did the, uh, the fairy princess, the Cinderella carriage. It's just absolutely beautiful, isn't it? The unicorn. It's a big panel. And you're also getting this one, which is space theme. I'm excited to see what you do with these because I've seen loads on the fan page which aren't just, you know, coloured in and left. They're turned into projects. I've seen somebody make one into a bear, into a toy. I've seen somebody um, applique some of these pieces onto the back of denim jackets. I've seen people use them for play mats, appliquing them onto different things or cushions. I've seen them use them in bag making. So these are your colour me in panels. I like the fact that you've got a really lovely thick black line to be able to colour in the lines neatly. We've also thrown in your textile markers. So these are the ones that I believe, let me check. Yeah, you need to iron. So allow drying for six, hour, uh, six hours after decoration and then iron inside out five minutes onto the decorated area and then that makes it completely colour fast. And what's lovely about these colours is one, you've got all of the, the beautiful colours. In fact, Liam was sort of steering towards more of these for his dragons and then I was like, oh, we both loved the yellow colour, didn't we? We both were trying to hog the yellow, but all of these lovely colours. And the great thing as well is that they have got a, a thicker nib on the one side, which is 3.6 millimetres, and then you've got a really lovely fine tip nib here, which is 2.3 millimetres. It's just £18.98 pence for your early bird specials. They're beautiful, aren't they? Now, Tony, if you loved your sewing machine uh, pin cushion, what about getting the little doggy dog? Do you know how many people have been, I've heard so many people getting puppies. Have you followed Rudy on Instagram? 
Rudy, what is it? Rudy underscore the miniature schnauzer. If you follow him on Instagram, that's our cat's new dog. Um, cat's messaged in, is she watching? She's a do dilly dally. I know, she's always watching, isn't she? Cat was watching. Whenever I talk about somebody, they always end up tuning in at, at that point. I was moaning that. Well, I wasn't moaning. I was just stating a fact that Cat says I was dilly dallying across the set the other day. <gasps> she says, "Yeah, you do. You do dilly dally." Uh, right. So this is your lovely little dog, Pinkerson. It's like a little Dachshund. It's a sausage dog. It is. Sorry, let me take it out of the pack. So um, he's adorable, and I promise it won't hurt him when you put pins in. Oh, he's so nice. £9.99. It's normally £14.99, so it's a big £5 saving today. One of the biggest savings we've seen on the early bird. And it's so cute. Look at his face. And I love, love, love his little bandana. But if you're using him as a pin cushion, don't worry, this won't hurt. Ah! This won't hurt. But it's very useful as well. Very, very useful as well for all of your pins, any of your size pins. Um, and I'm thinking, yeah, it's more like acupuncture for dogs, isn't it? <laughs> um, he will just sit on your sewing machine, be a little companion. I am somebody who absolutely adores Dachshunds and sausage dogs to the point that people always say, oh my gosh, have you got a, have you got a Dachshund? Because I've got so many things around the house, like I've got a Dachshund mug, I've got Dachshund pictures, I've got a Dachshund like doorstop thing, I've got loads of Dachshund things. Just £9.99. What's that, sorry? Oh. Oh, is Maisie here? No, Maisie. I've called her Maisie and I don't think her name's Maisie. What? Good morning, good morning. I hope um, Rudy hasn't kept you up in the night. I know that Kat's, um, yeah, Kat's introducing a friend to Sewing Street. So, hello, hello, hello. Uh, so that's £9.99 for your little puppy love sausage dog. Isn't it gorgeous? Are you coming to say hello, Liam? Oh, I thought you were going to say hello to Kat. Oh, no, I'm just oh. this. <laughs> £9.99. So, that was a really, really popular early bird special. Talking of really popular early birds, I got a Laura, 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 Laura leather. Um, now, if you've never worked with leather before and you want to have a bit of a go with it, we've got these two kilogram bags of scrap. I say scrap, no of assorted pieces of leather. They're not scrap pieces, let me show you. Now they're lovely quality. I'm gonna tip all this out. Oh, everybody's gonna be completely different. You might get different colors in yours. You'll definitely get different um, sizes and shapes. I mean, I've got reds in here. I haven't seen a pack with reds yet. That is so nice. I'm thinking if you want to do little um, toiletry bags, even if you want to do larger projects, you absolutely can patch with these together. Now, if you do want to, to work with leather, a couple of tips. Use um, a leather needle on your machine. Um, don't pin into it. Maybe use the clips. We've got the clips coming up this hour as well. Oh, that one's lovely. Look at that. Thinking you could do like wallets and uh, or, or small... Um, what are they called? Passport covers, I'm thinking. Passport covers or wallets, travel wallets. I'd love like a really lovely purse with a beautiful soft leather like this. You could also do tassels. You know how expensive little bag charm tassels are? And it's so easy to do. You don't need to do really any sewing. I think just use the glue. I, I pointed to the glue like it was there and it's not. It was there earlier, which is strange. Uh, but you've got all of this leather. I mean, that's a huge, huge piece. I've not seen one that size in a bundle before, but you could probably do a, a small sort of clutch bag with that. Um, it's a really good chance to try out working with leather if you never have before and you get a really, really professional, professional finish. Um, I've got brown in here as well. You've got loads of colours. Some smaller pieces, some scraps. I mean, even some of the really small pieces, you're still going to be able to use as little patches on pockets or things like that. £24.99. That is brilliant value. Bearing in mind, how much would you pay for a genuine leather wallet? And how much you're going to be able to make from this? That's so good. All your Christmas gifts could be done. Um, now, this is the biggest saving on the early bird specials so far. Saving 
pounds, which is the largest saving we've offered. Twenty-four ninety-nine is a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant price. And as of tomorrow, it will be twenty. It will be a uh, thirty-four ninety-nine. Oh no! What am I going to do with all this now? Right. Let me try and get it all back in the bag. So we've now got. Cat's Autumn Bundle. I love this. If she's still watching. In fact, you can make amazing jewellery with these as well. I just saw some really fine pieces and thought you could do some really lovely leather bracelets with it as well. Um, there might even be on the website a leather book. Have a look. Type in leather and you might be able to see some um, beautiful books of how to work with le leather and get some tips as well. So... Uh, the autumn bundle there is no need to reduce this we've literally just come into autumn was it yesterday <laughs> you're getting one two three four five half meters have i got the wrong one two and a half meters yeah that's correct two and a half meters so you're getting a free half meter saving three pound 49 you're getting half a meter of your poplin weight spot in uh, red half a meter of your poplin spot in this lovely green uh, that's a really nice green as well isn't it half a meter of brown half a meter of what looks like gold and then half a meter of your nude as well all of those for 14 pounds 96 pence that is a really lovely color combination actually very popular indeed very very popular indeed 14 pounds 96 pence fabric bundles are gorgeous whilst i'm here we're going to talk about the Lewis and Iron fabric bundle. I know I'm whizzing through these, but we've got loads to get through. This is a bit of a pit stop with savings galore. If you can keep up with us, you'll get some brilliant deals. Oh, this is a nice combo. You Lewis and Iron little mice. Look at them. They're adorable with a little cheese. So half a metre, just so you're aware, looks like this. It's 112 wide. Half a metre is a lot of fabric and you've got lots of those little mice as well haven't you so just 112 wide um, and then you're also getting half a meter of your orange and half a meter of your gray which all look beautiful nine pounds and 97 that's really really good again isn't it okay that was another brilliant early bird special it's not often that we do fabric bundles like this discounted so Hundred, definitely make the most of it. Lewis and Irene's always at brilliant price points. Um, but two half metres. What does that make your price per half metre? Three pounds. Bear in mind you've got a designer fabric here. We're at 3.32 a half metre. And you've got a designer fabric in there as well. So that is great value for money. Just £9.97. Okay. Now, I'm going to just grab these instead of, um, instead of getting the huge bags out because um, you get 150 of these clips in the bundle. 150. I haven't got exactly 150 there, but you will get 150 clips for £23.97, which is a really, really special price. I think it makes it 15 pence a clip, which, right, the reason that I love these is when we launch them, we compared these to the branded wonder clips from clover which don't get me wrong are absolutely fantastic quality they are a brand they're a very established brand they're really really good quality um, and you can buy those on our website you get 50 of them for 28.99 the reason we set ourselves a bit of a challenge to find great quality clips like this affordably is because i know that there is a huge huge demand for them these are your multi-purpose sewing clips so there were a few things that we wanted to make sure that we could that we could offer and one was the quality yes you can get these sewing clips online extremely affordable but we found that they do not open as wide as these ones do so you've got a really really lovely wide mouth there it's also got a curve so you can sit that flat on the one side and a curve on the other uh, so if you are clipping your binding any of your projects that you want to keep flat to your surface that's going to 
be brilliant. They're in lovely bright colours, so when you're working with these new machine, you're going to be able to see them, identify them, to take them out nice and quickly. But also, they're not going to snap. We were sent lots of multi-purpose sewing clips from a lot of different companies to be able to get for you the best quality at the best price point. And this was what our buying team found were the best value for money. So 150 of them for £23.97. These are ideal for bag makers. If you're working with leather and you're not able to pin, if you're working with delicate fabrics and you're not able to pin, it isn't like using a bulldog clip. It's not going to damage your fabric at all. These are designed especially to work in conjunction with your fabrics. Now that's 150. We also did another early bird where we offered a hundred of the clips, which the graphics will be coming live for now, which makes it 17 pence a clip. So this is a hundred clips for 17 pence a clip. At 17 pounds. Yeah, it is really good. It's better value of money to go for the larger bundle. I mean, literally by pence, but... Uh, if you do want 100 clips, that's still a lot, isn't it? You're still going to be able to do lots of um, binding, any of your, uh, your bag-making projects, any of your felt. In fact, lots of our guest designers who come in, they will always come in with their pieces cut out, a piece of paper to say what it was, and a clip holding them together. So they're really good to get yourself organised. I then opened it up and said, right, what do you use your multi-purpose sewing clips for? And oh my gosh, it was hilarious. We had somebody say, I held my lockdown fringe back with a, a, a clip. I also use it to hold my pasta in the, uh, the cupboard to keep it nice and fresh on the packets of pasta. Uh, I saw somebody on the, the fan page rolling down their toothpaste and putting a, a, a multi-purpose sewing clip. So I think you will find that you will find a lot of uses for these around the house as well as with your crafting and your sewing. But they are absolutely ideal. Deal. Special price of seventeen pounds and ninety six pence. That's for a hundred. Oops. See, also there was just a pin that got into there, and that just stabbed me. Which is um, why pins aren't always my best friend. I end up leaving them in projects, and then you find them, and uh, yeah, it hurts, doesn't it? So um, that's handy. Now, when we're talking about early bird specials and we're talking about savings, you generally don't expect to see products that are going to be very very popular now and when I say that I mean like the autumn bundle for example we don't need to discount it's autumn it's not like we're discounting our summer and spring ranges that's autumn we certainly do not need to discount this what have we been talking about all morning Christmas yesterday um, I was watching uh, the telly and I saw that Oxford Street, John Lewis Department Store have just opened their big Christmas department uh, section, well, floor, I think, Christmas floor there. But everybody is getting ready for Christmas. There is no one who's discounting Christmas things, surely. Two pounds saving, eight pound 47. If you want to get making, if you want to get kitted out ready for Christmas, maybe making your own gift bags. I know lots of us are thinking more about sustainability and what we can do. In fact, it was in that department store that I saw they're selling fat quarters to wrap your, uh, your presents with this year instead. What about making beautiful little bottle bags or gift bags? Uh, we've seen some ideas from Kerry living in loveliness, but they are great colours. Now, whether you're seeing this as a Christmas bundle or whether you're seeing this as three very useful colours for your stash. A green, a red and a white. You can't go wrong. Our prices on our solids for the quality that we're bringing are always amazing. Liam, what's our price per half metre on this? So, £2.82. They're normally three forty nine and a half metre, which is already amazing. Remember, it's two fat quarters. I'll always say, you know, when you go to the big exhibitions, when we could when we could go to the big exhibitions and craft fairs. And if you ever you saw those stands that said fat quarters less than three pounds, uh, you would go in with your high vis jacket on and your whistle because it's always chaos. Uh, they're always so affordable. The price per half meter is less than three pounds. Your price per fat quarter is less than 150. That is such crazy value for money on three very useful colors, especially this time of year. Eight pounds and forty-seven pence. I've got a feeling that bundle will sell out. So 
That's another really popular bundle. We've got some tartan fat quarters. I was only talking about these. Did you get the pattern on its own for the Highland cow? Hundreds of you did. I think there were 350 something sold on, um, on what day was it? Friday show? Um, it was so, so busy. In fact, Liam, would you be able to run around and grab it for me? It's literally there. Uh, so, these I think would be brilliant with it. Now, I spoke about them. They're fat quarters. You've got different textures. That's like a fleecy one. Um, that's like a lovely fleecy. It's under the desk here. That's it. Thank you. Um, I think this, this one would look amazing with your Highland cow. So if you got the pattern, I mean, this is done with Tula, which looks lovely, lovely and bright. But imagine doing it as well with different tartans and mixing in maybe even the other bundle with some of the reds and the green or white or your autumn bundle, in fact. I think some of these pieces would look beautiful with your, with your tartan. It's just £5.49 and you're getting four great fat quarters um, and as I say they're different textures as well this one's like a, a fleecy texture you can't really see we're at 137 a fat quarter 137 of that fat quarter um, I'm thinking for um, cushion projects applique projects I can't get the highland cow out my head what other things I mean there's loads you can do with the lovely tartans just little patches on um, waistcoats things like that When's Burns Night? Burns Night. I think that's coming up, isn't it? Is it in November? I love Burns Night. I love Burns Night. Just £5.49. Have you never celebrated Burns Night? Oh. I've been to, uh, yeah, I've been to many. When we, uh, I used to grow up in pubs and we always, because my maiden name is Gordon, we used to, even though I do have, Scottish descent somewhere, but um, none of my immediate family is Scottish. But we always celebrated Burns Night still. The natural fat quarter pack. This one, £11.99. You're saving £3. And in here, you're getting all of these beautiful... In fact, I think Debbie used these um, to make lovely coffee mug holders. Uh, you know, for, you, for your Starbucks, your Costa Coffees, your Cafe Nero's. All oh, these are lovely, aren't they? Your McDonald's. <laughs> £11.99 for five fat quarters this time. Oh, nice. Five fat quarters and in there you're getting um, all lovely size fat quarters. That one's cool. This is like little sewing notion adverts almost, isn't it? Look at this. I love that. You could have these as almost like little quilt labels. That one says antique quilt jackets. French, isn't it? It's really nice as well. French country, all these different lovely scissors and it's got the numbers of them underneath. That's really cool. You could cut those out. First you cut them and applique them onto, as I say, quilts and things. Different gifts. All five fat quarters, just £11.99. Okay. Oh, right, we had Jane Green off here uh, on Friday. I'm, no, it wasn't Friday's yesterday. I wasn't here Friday, Thursday. We had Jane Green off and, oh my word, 3 99 What is with this price? You're saving five pounds. Um, those of you that want to try cross-stitching, if you love Jane Green off, if you got inspired by Jane Green off the other day, I mean, this is really cool because you've got little projects in here. Like, oh, look, like a lightning stitch. Very Harry Potter, I love that. Badges, button holders, bobbles, hair clips, hair bubbles, small achievable projects. Some of Jane Green off kits, oh my word, they are phenomenal. But I would think they're going to take me my whole life to try and do it. Um, whereas these, you've got some really cool uh, charts here, haven't you? Your Russian dolls, you've got borders, you've got mermaids. Look, a section of tattoos. You have got so many, and it, it'll give you lots of instructions at the start, so if you are completely new, um, I'm hoping that we've got enough of these in stock. I'm hoping we've got enough, because that is such a crazy price. Three ninety nine. it'll talk about your different uh, things that you need. Oh, we've got embroidery hoops on the website, any, any of the little bits and bobs that you might need, add to your order, as now you're only paying one postage and packaging if you've purchased this. 50 of these left, that's it. They'll sell out today if you do want it. Oh, look at that. 
little cat, little coasters, mini samplers, how to incorporate it into, you know, big, bigger samplers for the home, pop art canvases, little trickster, watch strap, that's a great idea, isn't it? Some lovely projects on here, how to incorporate it into a tote bag. Got a dinosaur on a tote bag there, I love it. And in fact, it isn't just how to incorporate it onto a ready-made tote bag, you've got the instructions of how to make the tote bag. Play, plain pair of pumps, customised shoes. Now, it won't show you how to make the shoes this time, but if you've got a plain pair of pumps, or any of your clothing, denim jackets, you can cross-stitch on top of them. That's lovely, isn't it? I do love the idea of embellishing things that may be upcycling. If, uh, you've also got your grid here as well. Ada count, 14 inch. So then you can start to design your own, maybe. Uh, so that book is crazy value for money. That is really, really low. £3.99. pence. We've got some buttons as well. Talking about embellishing and upcycling. I do like the idea of adding buttons onto to plain cardigans and things like that. What about a little girl's cardigan? Instead of having, you know, plain buttons, you could just change one of the top buttons and doing really lovely little ladybird or flower. These are lovely for um, hair bubbles again, or rings even. You could just put this onto um, wire or elastic, have a look on the jewellery maker page, and do like little, they're nice little um, rings, aren't they? It's quite often I, I will collect buttons, but they'll be off garments where the buttons popped off, especially after lockdown. Um, but they're always little boring buttons. I love these because you never get to see them. I think they also make really lovely homemade clocks. If you've got yourself uh, uh, some, some canvas and a, a, an embroidery hoop and you can stitch yourself, you can get the little clock mechanism, can't you, to put at the back. And then if you have this, as like the, the 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 and, and 9. It'd be really, really lovely. Maybe to have somebody learn the time. That's I love those. Embellishing things like um, cards as well, if you're doing greetings cards, it's not just for sewers. Four pounds and 48 pence, or embellishing any of your embroidery, embellishing any of your bags or cushions, just with some buttons. I think buttons, do cover a, a multitude of sins if you if you don't match your points. I always pop a button on. <laughs> Four pounds forty eight, and it's a one pound fifty saving on that bundle today. Riley Blake, how have we got Riley Blake in the early bird? Riley Blake, hot pinks. So you're getting one half meter of your designer fabric, which is this one, and it's the lovely yarn fabric. Maybe you want to make yourself a knitting bag or a crochet bag, something like that. That's lovely. Or something for the cat. The little balls of yarn. That's so nice. But in, in fact, it doesn't look novelty in your face like a cat fabric, does it? It's, um, it's, it's still really, really lovely from a distance. It just looks like a big spot. So you've got this one, which is a Riley Blake print. We've then teamed it with this mix of fabric, which is that lovely mottle effect in pink. And you've also got your Ditsy Star, which is a poplin weight cotton rose and hubble quality, which is stunning. But yeah, I do like that. It adds a bit more texture, doesn't it? It's not just a plain solid. They're going to look really nice together. £11.97, which is a saving of £3. So let me come back over with me and we'll have a look at the craft bag. So earlier on we had the um, purple, no we found the purple and black one on the website. Now we've got the turquoise and black. They're both very very popular, both very very popular indeed. This is just 13 99 14 99 15.99 there got there in the end 15.99 the, the lowest price i'd seen these elsewhere was 21 pounds 99 pence so at 15.99 this is brilliant value especially as you've got that quality you've got those feet on the base you've got that really nice strong strap the lovely turquoise color as well plus you've got the pocket on the front put any of your pattern pieces or any of the instructions in there maybe your power cord leads 15 pounds and 99 pence if you go on to the website you can see on the description the measurements of this if you do want to measure it against your machine um, we did mention them earlier on if you go to the website you'll also see this there's your code 
SKZWH7. We've got it in the black and purple. We didn't realise we had it in black and purple. You can make the most of it for £15.99, whichever colour. I think that's literally just come back into stock. It wasn't supposed to be in our show. It was not supposed to be in our show. Um, okay, another crafting bag, which I think would be really nice for knitters and, uh, and crocheters as well. It's got the, the little wooden handle. It's got adorable, adorable bunting. I love that print and it's quilted. It's really nice. I think this would be nice to keep any of your patterns in, maybe some templates that you're using. Uh, £16.99. It is at a special price, a discounted early bird special price of just £16.99. I think that'd be a nice gift for somebody, actually, wouldn't it? Maybe a nice Christmas gift. Are you stocking up on all your Christmas presents? I know lots of people that have actually done their Christmas shopping. Can you believe it? <gasps> Although we are less than three months away, it's, it's going to come round very, very quickly, isn't it? So it's nice to be stocked up, but this is a beautiful bag. It's finished really nicely. Less than 90 days till Christmas. Just... Sixteen ninety nine for your craft bag. Oh, right. Can I just show you these because they're on the website and these were on on Delphine's show when we did the applique and it was one of the busiest early birds I've seen. The blues and the greens together. This was just the Thursday show. Uh, 100 metres on each spool. It's a value pack anyway, but then to get it at a discounted price, you're saving £2. That's twelve ninety nine for all of those colours. They are amazing. Absolutely amazing. They're the assorted colours of blues and greens, which I know are extremely popular. This colour she used with the Tula Pink. We also saw the blues going with so, so much. I love that. That's one of my favourite Guterman packs. We also have, speaking of value for money, these ones have got free bobbin mates. So you get 10 of your Sewell 50 weight Guterman polyester threads, 100 metres on each skein, uh, on, each, um, on each spool. Plus you've got... The beautiful reds going into pinks. You've got white in there. You've got your sunset, sunset shades. Can't speak today. Plus you're getting your lovely mints and greens. And then you're getting your bobbin, mate. So you don't get bobbins with it. But if you've got bobbins at home and you've wound them up, you can keep them together with the corresponding spool. Nice and neatly, ready to go. For $16.99. See, that is so handy. Even if we ignore the bobbin, mates, your value for money in the spools alone is really low uh, and, and yet we're kind of throwing those in for free or Guterman are. It makes them about £1.70 each and then you've also got the, uh, the the bobbin mates as well. And just very, very quickly, we all need uh, our pins, don't we? Some good quality pins I love. What I particularly like about the flower headed pins is that they're really nice and long They've got a great size head. They've got a great size flower head, which is really visible. You just heard me prod myself and I said, this is why I don't like pins, because I always leave them there. You're not going to leave them there when they're, they're, they've got that nice big uh, plastic top as well. Uh, they will glide through your fabric smoothly. They're really, really sharp. Uh, so they're great for quilters, great for bag makers and dressmakers. Just £12, sorry, £8.99 today, £2 saving on the early bird special. So that's it. Pit stop through some of the most popular early birds. Now's the chance over the next couple of minutes to just go back through, see what's available and check out. Type in the word early bird onto the web and see all of those savings. Don't go anywhere though because we're doing the most adorable little clutch bag with a beautiful bow with Cara coming up in just a few minutes. We'll see you after this. Hi, I'm Debbie Shaw from Sewing Street and these are my five top tips for successful sewing. So number one, always use a good quality thread. A good quality thread will keep your seam stronger and also help to prevent lint building up inside your sewing machine. Tip number two, if your project isn't going quite according to plan, put it down, walk away from it, come back again the next day and you'll probably find that things don't seem half as bad as they did. My tip number three, never throw away your sewing machine manual, always keep it to hand because you're going to find hints and tips, techniques and troubleshooting in that manual. You'll miss it if you lose it.
My tip number four is to read your pattern instructions before you even cut out your fabric. Different manufacturers of patterns will give you different instructions, different ways of constructing your garments and different seam allowances. So to have a successful garment, you need to follow the instructions precisely. And then tip number five is don't give up. Every professional sewer sewed their first seam. Every professional quilter quilted their first quilt. Every professional quilter sewed their first line of wonky stitches and had to get out the quick and pick. That's no different to you. So I hope you find these useful. If you want more hints and tips, then why not go to Sewing Street on Channel 74 on Freeview, on Sky 670, and of course we have a YouTube channel where you can catch up on previous demonstrations. We'll see you soon. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively you can message us on our official Facebook page. Did you know that if you shop with Sewing Street, you're only going to pay one lot of postage all day? That's one payment of £3.95, no matter what you're buying. And you can check out as many times as you like without having to pay another delivery charge. So shop online at www.sewingstreet.com or you can order via our call centre, which is 0800 001 4433. Hello everyone, my name's Cara Ackerman and I'm absolutely delighted to be here at Sewing Street. Um, I actually originated from Hertfordshire, then went down to Hampshire and then it ended up in the East Midlands. I've been in the East Midlands for about 40 years now, which seems crazy. Um, but 36 of those I actually worked with DMC Creative World, um, which was wonderful. I really, really enjoyed that. And then um, I decided to go freelance and that's how I got introduced to Sewing Street. I love doing anything to do with um, textiles, so embroidery, cross stitch, patchwork, done a bit of quilting, bag making, toy making, oh goodness, there's loads and loads of things. Um, what I love doing is just trying something new and I think one of the tips is don't be frightened of trying something new. Um, you always learn from it and you know, don't be scared of making mistakes either. We all learn from the mistakes that we make. Um, little bit about me that you might not know and that's a bit of a surprise. Um, I once went to the garden party down at Buckingham Palace, the Queen's Garden Party, for some work that I did with Marie Curie. And I was so, so lucky to go there and just a wonderful time. Um, so I hope to see more of you on Sewing Street and I hope to try lots of new crafts with you. So see you again soon. Bye bye. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalog by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Welcome back, welcome back. Uh, so, we've had a lovely day today. It's gone ever so quick, hasn't it? We saw a beautiful project and a great book with Cara earlier on. Now, this is lovely. And we said, if only we had somewhere to go. For anybody who may have had, I know, I, I've certainly um, had a few weddings this year that have been postponed to next year. And this had been ideal as a little clutch bag size for a wedding or a gathering, a party. Uh, but still, do you know what? Times to come, we will be able to look forward to, fingers crossed, hopefully, going um, to these events next year. So I'm thinking, now's the time to think about, ah, oh, what about 
making things. I know one of my um, one of my good friends who is a bride who is getting married. She's now spent the time this summer actually thinking, do you know what? I can make this and do this and do this and, and do this and all the things that she kind of wanted to and then got a bit carried away with it, with time and didn't get around to do. So we love this bag. We saw it on uh, social media and it is so beautiful. That bow is just adorable and it's a really, really lovely size as well. So the clutch bag comes from this book, which is your sewn bags, stylish bags for every occasion, which is a book that we have seen before. And it's been a book that's been very, very, very popular indeed. You've got 20 very designer looking bags, I must say. Let's have a bit of a flick through. Um, because you've got shopper bags, you've got tote bags, you've got summer bags, you've got loads of different techniques to learn here. This is one we particularly like, and I know Cara said she's seen somebody do this before with different fabrics, and it looks amazing. Quite a summer feel, relaxed style bag. In fact, it's sim not a sim dissimilar shape to the origami bag that we've seen. This is the one that we're making today. All of the templates are in the back. We'll talk to, to Kyle about those in a moment. But that looks lovely in a corduroy as well, doesn't it? See, there's lots of different options that when you're making these time and time again, just changing the, the fabric, how different it will look. See, that's a real retro style, retro fabrics. But now, it looks completely different, doesn't it? Thank you, Liam. Uh, we've also got great step-by-step -step instructions, lovely clear photographs going through the book. The messenger bag. See, I know our director Paul loves a messenger bag. He does indeed. Um, you've got knot bags. That's cool. Really different bags actually in here. As I say, very designer. Some of the lovely stylish shoppers, simple tote bags, duffel bags in here. Festival bag. That's good to have all of your uh, pockets on the outside. Uh, I know that we have made some projects from here in the past, but I don't think it's going to be the last time that we see this book. It's great, isn't it? Different size totes, patchwork hold all bag, a travel bag. It is packed full, as a, and I say it again, very design looking bags, felted bag. You're going to learn lots of tips and techniques. Oh, we've got one of these wooden handles actually, the reversible shopper one. That might have even been the one that we've done before. Embellished bag. Some great occasion bags in here and different tips that, right, if you love that how to do, if you love the bow, you could put the bow onto a different one. Or if you love that embellishment, if you love a certain pocket or a zip, or learn how to do the, uh, the tassels as well. Evening bags and all of your templates then are at the back. Now, some you might need to uh, upscale. It will tell you on the actual uh, pattern piece itself if you do need to. Now, this one, for example, your stylish shopper bag, you need to photocopy at 250%. Don't let it put you off because most of us will be able to do it at home on our, our photocopier. Most of people will be able to do it on your printer at home. If you've got a scanner on the top of your printer, then you should be able to do it with ease. Uh, but if you have any problems, and I've done this before, and it's, it's actually really easy. I live near um, a, a stationery shop, whether it be a post office or or a library or anywhere that I've got the photocopier and it's pence I'm talking sort of 3p or 5p a copy so if you were thinking do you know what I really love this bag don't let that be the deal breaker that you need to up it the reason being that they do that is so that they can fit more projects in so the benefit is that you've got loads of projects and loads of content so your instructions are really really clear um, but it, it means that you uh, you've got to, you've got to upscale your, your pattern sizes so that's the one that we're doing today this is your lovely uh, bow trimmed clutch and it's a gorgeous shape as well now we've got lots of bundles now the book is separate so you need the book on its own we didn't put it in the bundles because I know we've done it before so you might already have the book uh, the one that um, you might not see as much we'll start with because uh, Cara is working with the one uh, that I'll show you in a second and we obviously made this one with the blue so this one I don't want to to slip by the wayside because actually it's quite similar to the one that's on the front that, that's in the book and in the bundle you're getting two half meter pre-cuts of your fabric so you're getting half a meter of rose and then you're also getting half a meter of your poplin ditzy star which is both rose and hubble you then also get your magnetic snaps and you get your fusible fleece you get h640 a whole meter piece of h640 which is plenty enough 
£19.99, which tell you what, it's great value, isn't it? Really good, especially as you've got your interfacing in there. Um, all you need to add in is your instructions, your pattern pieces from your book. So that's the rose colour, that's called pink. Then the one that Cara's going to be working with is this one. I love this fabric. Do you know what? I've not seen this. This feels like a heavier weight as well, slightly. It does feel slightly heavier. Uh, so you're getting half a metre of this one, which is stunning. So you could really, even if you're wearing black, actually, this would look really nice. The reds and the pinks, there's corals, there's greys. There's this amazing jade turquoise tone. Half a metre of this one, plus you're then getting half a metre of your green, your H640, which is your fusible fleece, and then this time you're getting a gold magnetic snap. Just a couple more pounds, and that is, is that a designer print? That is really, really nice. I love that. £23.99. Then the one that uh, Cara made the bundle with was the blue. It looked great and lots of people were messaging on social media about this one actually. Half a metre of your blue, half a metre of your butterflies, which is so pretty. Again, those colours are gorgeous. Your magnetic snap and your H640. £23.99. All great value, all fantastic prices. It's just a matter of which colour colorway you want which ones you prefer so they're the three bundles um we've also got a habit is it a haberdashery bundle or are they individual if you were making that shopper bag from earlier we've got the uh we've got the handles which are great the bamboo handles just be aware that you might need to hand stitch if your sewing machine doesn't fit this in the throat space, if you understand, because we had a bit of a problem with it last time, so they had to hand stitch them on. But these are your prim bamboo handles, which are beautiful quality. Oh, no worries, they were just on their own. I'll let you, uh, we'll, we'll come back to those in a bit, but they're the ones that I was talking about with the shopping bag. They were £11.99 for those. Just eleven ninety nine if you did want to make that um, reversible shopper bag. £11.99, it's good to just build up your bag making stash, isn't it? Right, so I will let you know if there's anything else as we go on with Cara. So isn't it adorable? I love this shape bag, Cara. It was so cute. Um, when I was making it, I thought, all oh, right, OK. You know, I thought, oh, it's going to be complicated. It was so simple. Oh, really? So, so simple. So um, I'm hoping that I'll be able to show quite a lot of it today. And then when you fold it over and you match the magnetic clasps, just looks so cute. Oh, it does. We all said this is a really, really adorable bag. And, and but big enough, you know, for your phone, yeah. for your lipstick, for your, some money, yeah. keys, um, absolutely, you know, everything. So. It's still a great size, actually, because I always find some clutch bags can be too small. Our phones are getting bigger, aren't know, they? It's I struggle know. to fit them in. Whereas that is ideal. If, if only we had some occasions and things to go to. Know, but this but is nice to be able to look forward to, isn't it? Definitely. And I think, uh, like you say, um, you know, if you're struggling to find a bag to go with an outfit and you're looking forward to what's going to come in the next year or so, then, you know, it's just lovely to be able to match your outfit. Absolutely. Um, you know, or just that very special sort of occasion that, you know, maybe you want to just have something different, so. Fab. Yep. So where do we start? <gasps> I know with this beginning. one, I just want to mention, sorry, that you used um, uh, interfacing. Just I the, did, Was yes. it this one, the medium yes. weight? Yeah. So you use the medium weight in interfacing. You get H640 in the kit. Yeah. How will that differ? That's we'll what I've got out. here. We'll find out. Okay, brilliant. <laughs> um, so what, um, just as you said, you know, the, to get that number of bags in that book, you know, you will have to enlarge some of the patterns. And I've only got um, an A4 printer at home, and I was able to enlarge the pattern that you needed for this on that, so okay. it wasn't difficult. And then what I did for the bow and the bow center, I'll show you in here. Ah, I'm with you now. So if you've got an A4 printer, as a majority of us will have yes. at home, if you've got the scanner on the top, you can upscale it, but you might need to stick some of them together for some of the pattern pieces. That's right. Some of the that's bags. right. But I, I managed. Um, I think I Not just. With this one. Yeah, I just had to just add a little bit at the top there. So um, that was the only difference. But the these bag pieces is just um, enlarging by 110 percent. So I was able to do that on my printer at home, which was good. The only thing was the bow and the bow centre is 200%. 
for the bow centre, it's just a rectangle. Okay. So you just measure it and then just double the um, measurement. For the bow, what I did was I photocopied that page, cut the bow out, yeah. then laid that on my um, scanner and then did the 200%. So it's really, really easy. But like you say, a lot of places will have um, you know, that facility so you can get something enlarged very easily. Um, so this is um, the, the bag, and it looks so different in all the different fabrics, Oh, it, it is. It is going to look really different. That's what I love about bag making. I don't think you should see it as, oh, I'm only going to make that bag once. No, different fabrics absolutely. Look completely different. That's right, that's right. So um, this one's got the green um, inter uh, lining, and then I had enough fabric to cut out two of the actual bags. So there is enough fabric within that pack right. to cut two out. And I'm, I was able to cut two bows um, and also two of the actual tabs. Oh, nice. So, um, you know, there was plenty, plenty of fabric. And the sample you've got over there, as you say, is with the medium interfacing. So I sort of prepared one, that's, that's the medium interfacing. Um, so you put your, you cut your pattern pieces out, you cut pieces on the fold and everything. Then you um, cut out your pieces, the same pieces, out of the interfacing and then iron the interfacing onto your fabric. I found actually having a pressing cloth and a steamer iron was the best way to do that. Right, okay. Um, you don't want your iron too hot because then the um, interfacing can sort of shrink the fabric. Yeah. Um, so it, it, it's a lot smoother if you use a steam iron and a pressing mat. Um, so that's the um, actual front and back out of the interfacing. Um, you mark on the actual shapes. So this is your stitching line and you mark to the dot. So you're going to be stitching to the dot and also on the lining, it says snap position only, um, lining only. You mark the position of the snap, snap there. And then on the other one, again, you've got the dot there and the other snap positioning you mark onto your fabric. So that's all it is. It's mm -hmm. just two pieces of fabric. So I thought today I'd actually do the um, 8640 version. Yeah, great. Yeah, you get so, that in the kit. Yeah. So, um, so again, you cut that out. You attach, um, cut all the pieces out of the 8640 as well. Attach the 8640 to your fabric um, and then position that um, with the right sides together. I'm just going to drop a dot there, which is where you're going to be stitching to. And this will all become clear once we carry on with it. I've also marked on here where the um, space is for the actual clip, the magnetic clasp. So I'll just mark that there. And even though you've got the H640, I've actually um, for or will I need that? On the interfacing, I would actually put a little bit of strength, but on this one, I cut a piece out and I thought afterwards, actually, I don't really need that, okay. but it's an option. Yeah. It's entirely up to you. Um, so before you actually stitch everything together, you will actually put your clasps on. And so you've cut all of those out. You've also cut um, the bow out. So you can have an option, the, the one that I've sent through, the um, bow was actually with the interfacing and it was quite um, firm. I thought, yeah, oh, I wasn't is. sure whether that was going to be right. So I used the interfacing on both sides of the bow um, or I did one with the Oh, H640. I love that. That looks so even more cute. Sort of poofy, doesn't it? Well, we said, you know, you could have this in your hair or something yeah, like that. Yeah, you could. Or, or on a belt. You can yes. have it on a little girl's dress at the back, like oh, bridesmaid ones. Yes, or definitely. So gorgeous. Um, or put it on in elastic. So for a little girl, you know, if she's got a ponytail or something oh, like that. Oh, you absolutely. Know, They're very in, that. aren't they? Um, and that's with the H640. And you can see that there's just a lot more body to it. So... Um, I thought, all oh, right, I will do the um, interfaced version, the H640 version. So with the two pieces of the um, fabric for the bow, you have right sides together, you leave a gap at the bottom, then you machine all the way round, and then you clip the corners, clip the excess fabric and everything, turn it all the way through, and um, then press 
that opening and then you'll hand stitch that across there. I thought it was better to be hand stitched rather than machine stitched. Um, then you'll actually place the gathering stitch to gather the bow together. Oh, wow. And you want um, that to be quite small because the tab, you want to be sure that your tab's going to go all the way round yeah. um, without flattening the actual bow itself. Um, so for this one, um, that's with the interfacing or you can again have it with the H640. So it's entirely up to you. Again, it's an option. The H640, even though it's quite foamy, like sort of uh, fleecy, it's not like the foam that it's going to be, you know, too big. No. It just adds that softness, doesn't it? It does. In fact, they'd be really nice for bows for gift wrapping. Oh I know a gosh, lot of people are doing lots of Christmas, making yes. their own gift bags or birthdays yes. and things. They'd be lovely to do fabrics um, with then a bow on it. Imagine. Yeah. And you and could put a little bit of elastic and they could use it there. Definitely, as. definitely. And the other thing, or oh, can you imagine actually if you're giving a bottle, yeah, you know, rather than a bottle bag, just put that you make your, yeah, and just pop that round the, the... Oh, we're getting creative now. What about like as, as a dicky bow? One yes. for a, a, a gent and one oh, for gosh, a... Oh, gosh, yes. Yeah, definitely. And you can um, make it smaller as well. Oh, so yeah. if you don't want it so big, you can actually um, not enlarge it by 200 maybe 150 or 100 okay. um, and have smaller ones yeah. so it's just a really really simple way of Fab. doing a bow so um so I, like i say i thought today i'd actually do it with the h640 so i'll move all of these ones out of the way so we've cut out our pieces we've attached the h640 we've marked where we're going to be stitching to and we've marked where the magnetic clasp is um, the other part of the magnetic clasp goes onto the lining, and I'll talk about okay. the lining later. So um, before you actually stitch everything together, you want to attach the clasp to the bag. Do I need any tools to no, do this? No, not at all, not at all. Do I need to have supersonic strength? No, <laughs> <laughs> I definitely uh. haven't. So um, let's move that out of the way. So no, you don't need any tools and you don't need any supersonic strength, which is really good. So um, I know we've seen this on um, programs before. So we, we match the center of the actual um, marking to the center of this washer, I suppose it is. Yeah. And then um, I'm just going to draw with my friction pen, just either side of that. And this is just to make sure that that clasp is in the right position. So we take that off and then I'll get, I actually, my lovely pointy scissors aren't as sharp as I thought they were. Ah, okay. So I just use the sharp ends of my um, fabric scissors. So I'm just going to unclip that. And the easiest way to get through and to get you started is actually just to fold that in half like that and this is the way I do it other people will do it a slightly different way but you want to fold that in half and then just make a little snip you don't want it too big but you want to go through the H660 H640 and also through the fabric so I've only just gone through the fabric there but that's absolutely fine you better do it too small than too big aren't yeah you? now I can't see where I clipped <laughs> there we go and then you'll take your um, part of your mag magnetic um, catch and you'll pop the ends of the catch through those little snips. Turn it over, come to the other side and you can see those have come all the way through. Yeah. And then you'll take your washer, pop it over the top. And then I'm, it's quite good. I've got the other piece of fabric underneath, so I'm pressing down, but I'm not pressing down onto a hard surface. Mm -hmm. And then you'll just press those back. And it's just, you know, such a, oh, oh I've nice. scratched that one, but um, such a professional way of finishing a bag. Absolutely. So then we go back and we'll do some machining. So I just pop my um, wonder clips. Your clips are handy for this this sort of project, aren't they? Instead of they pinning are. through all those layers. Yeah. And the other thing is, I don't have a walking foot at home, and if you have got a walking foot, that might might help. I am actually going to make a couple of little marks, just at the bottom, just by eye. What um, for? Just where I'm going to be stitching to. Oh, okay. So, and turning the corner. So you want to make sure that. Oh, you don't sew right to the end? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, you don't want to sew right to the end. I'm just going to move that up slightly. 
just realise that it's not matching at the bottom. So we're going to be, just check the other side, we're going to be sewing from the top all the way down, across the bottom and all the way up again. Okay. Okay. And I mean, this, you haven't got a, a walking foot on no, right now. No, I don't have it's a walking foot. It's not the end foot. of the world if you haven't got one, no. but like you say, if you do, it's worth popping it on and you might find it's, it goes through a bit easier. Yeah. Find the um, pedal. Oh, it's on the table. That's, ah! that's a good place to have it, isn't it? <laughs> Oops. Okay. So it's a nice, generous sort of seam allowance. I think I think it's about looks about a centimetre, maybe a little bit longer, uh, wider. Um, and then you want to do just a few stitches forwards and backwards at the beginning, and then just machine all the way around. And you can hear it's going through, especially on this machine, going through quite easily. All those layers. So you've got two layers of fabric and two layers of H640. And it's going through fine, yeah. isn't it? And it's, it's um, sometimes with the teeth underneath, uh, they don't always pull the um, fabric through evenly. But, um, you know, this is working really, really easily. So then we're just going to machine across the bottom. And this one, the shape of the bag is so good um, because you've got a box bottom. You've got a nice box bottom yeah. and actually the top, when you lift the magnetic clasp up, the shape of it yes. continues up to this sort of top corner. It's, it's really unusual shape actually. I've not seen a clutch bag like that before. No. Do you know me? So you can actually get loads in there. You can get loads in there but also I think for security case, yeah. case you're not, you've not got square, yeah. Because if you've got square on a clutch bag, you know there could be a tendency for it. If it flaps to come open, yes. things sometimes can come out. Yes. we've probably all been there. Yes. I've certainly have. I've lost so m I've lost my mobile phone before from <gasps> doing that. That you've got a square clutch bag, and as soon as that snap pops open, it yes. can just fall out. Whereas this, if you look, once I open it, you've still got all of this fabric before, all of this fabric to there. So it's, it has got that really nice secure feel yes. to it as well. But um, you still, because of that nice boxy bottom, you're going to be able to, to get all your bits and bobs for, for your occasion there. That'd be a nice little bag, actually. If, you, if you're doing like, um, you know, EPP or something like that, oh, and you just want to keep yes. like bits and bobs in a, in a bag like this as well, or a little toiletry bag, this is beautiful. Uh, you talking about EPP, wouldn't it be lovely? Um, not necessarily EPP, but you made a piece of fabric out of patchwork oh, yeah. and then use that actually for the bag yeah It'd be really really oh, good nice idea. so what we've done is we've machined all the way around and we're going to do the box bottom um need a little ruler there should be a smaller one on there is there not under the stripology no oh there Sorry, we just I like these. Them. They're good, aren't they? Yes. These, um, they're really good stands. They're not. We haven't got them. They're actually from that Swedish oh, big right. shop. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. From yeah. the kitchen section. Yes. Do I need to trim my H640 down? I'm not trimming yet. Okay. I'm going to trim it in a moment after I've done my box bottom. Right. Just from the point of view that I found, um, it's just easier to do mm. a box bottom with the whole seam allowance. So what I'm going to do is just pinch and make these little ears. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. So if you pinch either side, and the important thing when you're doing your box bottom is to make sure that that seam matches that seam on the other side. And if it doesn't, you can actually feel it through the fabric. You can just move it over slightly. And then I'm just going to pop a couple of clips in. Right, so when I've seen box bottoms before, you know, when it's sort of stitched like that and you miss the square out yes. of the bottom, this is yes. different, isn't it? Is yes, it? this is just, you know, you can, if you wanted to, you could, um, you know, cut the shape, but I find that th this is just as easy. Oh, this is good. Um, so I've matched there. I'm going to do the same on the other side. So open the fabric. And as I say, I just find it easier to do this before you trim. So we're matching those two seams together, making sure that the fabric's nice and flat. And then, you know, it, at this stage, it's up to you how deep you want your box bottom. Mm -hmm. um, I did, I think I did an inch. So I'm just going to measure, I've got all those clips there now. 
just going to measure from the seam down an inch and it's right under where that clip is so I'm going to move the clip I'm going to pop the clip there I think that will hold it except I can't see there <laughs> so I'm just going to make a mark on one side and then just move it round and from the seam down the edge so you can see the inch is there and I'm just going to make another mark there and I'm just going to put the, the um, pen across there and that's my stitching line for my box bottom. Right. So I'll do the same on the other side and then I'll quickly take those to the machine and get that stitched. As I say, this comes together so quickly, which is really nice. So what you will do is, once you've done your fabric, your outer fabric, you'll do exactly the same for your inner fabric, ah, okay. for your lining. And the option is there. If you want, again, a little bit more body, you could actually um, interface either both pieces or just the back of the bag, just again to give it a little bit more stiffness and um, a little bit stronger, so it, it maybe it, it stands up a little bit better. Yeah, so just the back, you wouldn't yeah. need to H640 the rest of it. I only did it on with the lining, interfacing, just, on, okay. just with yeah. the normal interfacing, so I just did it on the, um, the back of the bag yeah. there. Okay, so I'm just going to machine these. So you're going again through quite a few layers, but um, it shouldn't we'll see be a how we problem. Get on. Mm -hmm. Famous last words. Sometimes it's best to just slow down your stitches, isn't it? Yes. It's like when you're driving and you do a big hill start. Yes. You're best to just start slow or going yep. over a speed bump. That's what and I like. Take it your too. time. This fabric, by the way, is beautiful. We it's have got it by the half meter. There were people who were asking, and it's stunning. It's. Um, I'm, I'm not sure what designer this is. But um, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's the first time I've seen it. And uh, is it on um, a salvage? Is there a name on a salvage? No, no. It's not salvage. It just says Peony Passion Noir. There's no, there's no um, name on the salvage. It's so beautiful, isn't it? Seven ninety nine and a half meter. I'm thinking dressmakers as well. I know it's a you know a quilting weight cotton, but for a structured dress. Yes. Yeah, or a really skirt pretty. this yeah. is your chance now to buy by the half meter so you can get as much as you want and it's absolutely gorgeous all some really big dramatic cushions a bolster cushion would look beautiful the kaleidoscope uh, midnight the butterfly one the butterfly one we've got by the half meter as well which is this one now this is a lighter weight i think this would be beautiful for dressmaking this feels like a, a, a poplin weight, doesn't it? Yes. Slightly lighter weight. Yeah, it is a poplin weight. And the butterflies, look at all of the detail. You know me, I would actually embellish them with oh, stitching and idea. beads and things like that. So if you wanted to, for the front of the bag, oh, yes. you could just sort of, even on the bow, you could See, add See, that's the thing stitching. we forget about. Don't forget, or even on printed fabric, it looks amazing when you do some extra stitches, oh, doesn't gosh, it? Oh gosh, definitely. And some more texture and depth to it. £7.99 and a half metre, that is gorgeous, isn't it? We love that. Thank you, Cara. That's okay, so I've sewn across my box bottoms and I'm just going to trim across there and this is the time that I would actually then just trim some of the H640 across don't worry if you've got a little bit more at the um, sides again it sort of adds to the structure of the bag it's not that it's very thin okay so you'd be able to see it through um, you know, people will have their own way of doing it. You know, maybe some people will feel quite comfortable and happy doing the box bottom after it's been trimmed. And so it's entirely up to an individual person. But I'm just going to trim that. And then I am actually going to use pinking shears for around the curve. And just take out some of the bulk there. Yeah, like you say, you've got two layers of fabric and yeah. layers of H640. Yeah. Trim it at the bottom. 
and I like that extra bit of fabric at the bottom because um, of the 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 box bottoms, if you mm -hmm. like. Again, it gives it extra strength. Right. So, trim this one, and then we'll turn this all the way through. We've done exactly the same with the lining. We've added the magnetic clasp to the um, the other part of the bag, and you've transferred that onto your lining, so you know exactly where that is. So that's all been added. So try and turn this all the way through. It's got a lovely feel to it with the um, oh, with the eight six four two. Yeah, with the, with the eight six four two. So just come down to the bottom and if you were able, oh my gosh, look at that. If you were able to match the seams, you should find that your seams follow through. That was, I'm not going to show you the other side because no, my luck, it won't be so good. <laughs> That's amazing. But that um, is what you're aiming for. Let's have a look at the other one. Oh, no, it's not too bad. Perfect. Yeah. Just spending those extra couple of seconds, making yes. sure they line up really makes a difference, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. So that's the shape of your bag. So you've done exactly the same. You've done your um, box bottoms for the lining. I'm yep. just going to trim the lining around the curves again. Um, the only difference is at the bottom, you're going to leave a gap. And how many times have bag makers mm -hmm. Forgot. Yeah. So how how much do you need to leave? Enough just to be able to turn about it four inches. Okay. Um, you just want to make it so that you're not sort of straining Wrestling. to get. Yeah, yeah. Especially with the eight six forty, it's probably going to be a bit more of a struggle than it went if you were yes. to just use the interface. Yeah. So um, we pop right sides together, and as you can see, there's quite a difference yeah. between there. So um, just squeeze that in. And then we'll be matching the side seams. Push that down into the into the lining. And because they're all the same shape, the front and the back, you should be able to match. Now this was where, do you remember we had that little dot where you were stitching? This is why it's important, um, because you want to be able to match those seams. Nice. So clip there. Clip. Oops. Just to hold it in position. I'm making a lovely mess here. <laughs> Did you say there was another one around? No. Another what, sorry? Clip. It's oh. okay. Oh. There's old tub of clips. <laughs> May I take one? So I'm just matching this, the um, seams there. I'm just popping a clip in. And your next stage is to just machine the lining to the actual outer fabric. So, just put one in there. You're going to be stitching from that little dot mm -hmm. that we made all the way around to the other dot. And what I did was I actually machined that first because, oh, I don't know if that comes off yet. I found that um, when I was machining it, if your um, machine has got the facility to, I don't know the technical free term, arm. a free, free arm. arm. Yeah, yep. a free arm. <laughs> um, Remove this, little gubbins box. Yes. <laughs> this fits over just easily. Okay. So um, I did find that it was much easier to go from one dot all the way around to the the yeah, other dot do. and then redo it the other way. Does that is make that sense? With, yeah, is it within the seam allowance that you're sewing? Or um, within the seam allowance, you're, you're actually, no, it's the seam the allowance. The seam allowance, yeah. okay, yeah. yeah. So, this is a bit. Um, is it a bit bigger than your free armor? No, 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 no it will it's still fine. fit. Yeah, it will still fit. So, the clips are just there to hold it in position. I'm just pressing the seam away and Again, it's a similar seam allowance. Just going to get that under there. Just move that slightly. Talking to myself. This is what I do at home. <laughs> no, it's good. And have a chat. Oh, we've had lots of lovely messages. There was a message come in about, um, about your demo. In fact, we can show you. Oh. Right, this is quite tight. I'm going to remove my clips because I don't think they help. 
Hi, Car and Vicky. Loving the bag demo. I'm a bagaholic. <laughs> I love the new hairdo, Cara. It's, it's, thank you. I've had, first time I've had it cut yeah. in seven months. Really? In seven months. And this is natural. Yeah, I, I used to, to say, spend sure ages no, I straightening it. And, um, no, so I love first, it. Thank you very much. You're very kind. No, yeah, really so first nice. time in seven months. <gasps> I did chop it myself a yeah. few times, and I'm sure you all did, especially if you've got Your fringes. Fringe, yeah. Well, we said uh, there was a lady messaged in saying she used to use those sewing clips as a lockdown fringe clip. <laughs> Just clip it out of <laughs> the way while she was sewing. Loved it. No, I think we all tried to cut our own hair didn't we oh gosh and i just i just thought i'm just going to embrace the um the natural so absolutely oh i have my hair cut on thursday as well for the first time ever and i just keep running my fingers through it it's and just be so like, oh, nice i know it's so, oh, I know. It's so nice my hairdresser didn't sort of ha hold her hands up in horror well i bet they've way. seen some steaks haven't oh, they oh i bet they have <laughs> i bet they have but I'm, I'm amazed how much your hair can grow in that length of time. Gosh, it's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Take a little clip out. So I've gone through all the layers, just taking my time. Just going to do a reverse. And then just clip the excess threads out of the way. And then do the front of the bag. This is quite a bit tighter than mine. Um, I think it's got a deeper drawer or a deeper arm. Mm -hmm. It's called an arm, is it? So. so I've taken all the clips off, but just as you're doing it, just make sure that your fabrics, the raw edges of your fabrics match. So you, you can see that it comes together so quickly. It comes so together quickly. really quickly, yeah. absolutely. I know that you um, prepped a bit at home, the lining, yes. but um, it is really, really quick, really quick and easy to put together. And for such a, a, an unusual kind of designer-esque shape, yes. it's a nice one to do for a beginner, isn't it? Because it's really, I always find that if I'm starting a new project, as a newbie, you want to see results quite quick, yes. don't you? Yes. Whereas actually, you could embellish away on this, like you say, some embroidery. Definitely. You could make it as complex or as, as simple and as well. And unique. I think that's yeah. the thing. Customising makes Ooh, things, idea. you know, really unique. Just going to cut the excess. Oh, well, if you just put into Pinterest or anything, how many, if you write in personalised yes. anything, as soon as you want something personalised, you can pay a fortune for it. Yes. And now we're also, you know, handy. You could do lovely little um, messages or something on the back of, of somebody. If it is a, a gift for a mother of the bride or a, a bridesmaid or someone who's oh getting married. Oh, my gosh. Imagine just doing a lovely message at the bottom or inside in here. You could do a date and a name or something. It'd be really lovely. Actually, you know, talking about it, you know, bridesmaids. Yeah. You know, quite often bridesmaids maybe have glasses cases or yeah. their phones or something like that. Can you imagine actually making the, the, the bag for each of the bridesmaids? Yeah, and if they're, so nice. they've got different colours or anything, you can match it. Could, so. I, could I put some sort of, um, I'm wondering if I could put some sort of strap or even like a little handle at the back, something that you can hold on to. I personally like the clutch bags yeah. like this, but I wonder whether you could. Yeah, if you open it, you know the fold where the um, where it folds over yeah. further down. Yeah, just there. Yeah, you could actually attach a handle there. Right. You could do it within the seam. Okay. Yeah. So you know you could have a chain or something like that. Yeah, put it um, within the seam. Yes. Where it folds on yes. with you there. Yeah. Ah, okay, fab. Thank you. Right. So I've machined and I've clipped. Now we've got to right. wrestle it through. Yes, this should be fun. <laughs> I might not have allowed. Oh no, it's not too bad. Not too bad. It's always all. different on telly as well, isn't it? It's just something that you can do at home, and it might take you two minutes to do it. Whereas on telly, two minutes feels a lot longer, <laughs> doesn't it, than two minutes at home? It's fine. It's absolutely. Fine. I know that's lovely. There you go. So you've got your um, seam at the bottom. How would you stitch that up? So I'm going to just whiz it on the machine. Um, I'm going to press it first. Oh, sorry about that. It's all right. Let's, um, 
Um, oh, yeah, no, that's fine. I was going to say this is a smaller one. Um, iron. I could feel it by my knees. Oh, no. <laughs> Careful. No, that was fine. Uh, at least I knew it was on. So all I've done is I've um, actually put the seam allowance within mm -hmm. there. And I'm just going to, so you can either do this by hand. So you would just do sort of like a, a invisible stitch, doing those two edges together. What would you do, a slip stitch? Um, a slip stitch, yeah. yes. But I'm going to leave the iron there. Um, I'm just going to machine across the bottom. It Because it's on the inside of the bag, it doesn't matter so and much, And you're using a it? green thread, very yeah. organised with your green thread, ready <laughs> to go. I have gone through so much thread over okay. the, yeah. I don't know how many times I've had to buy extra thread. Um, and I went shopping the other day and I thought, oh, I'll just get some more. Because <laughs> you've never got the exact colour, have you? So oh, no, it's good to be able to have, you know, the right shades, isn't it? And it's always when you sit down on a Sunday afternoon to do a bit of sewing yes. and you can't find it, so you better no. just have it there, ready to go. So now we pop the lining within the actual bag. I love this fabric. I know, it's gorgeous, isn't it? I've never seen that before. It? It's so no, nice. It's so, so nice. So this, I would take a little bit of time just rolling the seam through your fingers to try and make sure you keep that nice curve. Okay. And you keep, do you remember we sewed from one side mm -hmm. to the other? That's why it keeps it nice and flat. Will it hold or will I need to top stitch it? I'm going to top stitch it if I can get it on the machine. Um, I should be able to. It just gives, again, it gives a more professional finish. It means your lining's not going to roll yes. under, even though yeah. that's under the flap of your, yes. your bow. Under your bag. Like I say, it's quite a quick project. It's nice to do these finishing touches that that's really right. add that professionalism. Right. So. And, you know, I, I was surprised that I had enough fabric to cut two bags. So you mm -hmm. could actually, um, if in your stash, you've got maybe a different colour that you want for your lining. Um, or you could maybe do the bag in a pink or a red or a black. Yeah. And have your lining as the floral Ooh, design. Oh, lovely. Yeah, which would be nice. Do so like I'm a just, jazzy lining. Yeah, I'm just pushing the um, corners into that and what we're going to do now is top stitch all the way around so i will move that out of the way do you change your stitch length when you yes top make stitching? it longer um i think i'll do a three so i've now actually i'm going to press that and take my clips off because of this machine there's not a huge amount of um space here because it's very deep I think my one at home isn't as deep as that right, okay so I'm just going to press that and actually take the clips off um, but when you're machining it you can just make sure as you're doing it that um, the seam is nice and smooth are we all right over time Liam we've got about 10 minutes yeah that's fine I'd like to talk a bit about the bow as well and then we can just have a chat at yeah. the end. <laughs> so I'm just pressing that right. So, move that out of the way. Oh, thank you. Pop this out of the way. You can come again. Very tidy. <laughs> tidy enough. Oh, you Coffee should stuff. see my room where I sew. I try and keep the um, the table nice and tidy if I can, but all around I've got piles and piles and piles of fabric. So, <laughs> <laughs> like everyone, and you know, you talk about people's stash. I've got stashes. Yes. Yeah. I've been buying um, some of the fabric that I want to make some of my Christmas presents with, and I can't wait to sort of get started. But um, obviously, Sewing Street takes priority. So. Oh, well, we keep you busy, don't we? You certainly do, which is <laughs> lovely. I love it, absolutely love it. So I'm just doing... I'd take a little bit longer doing this at home, but I'm just doing a top stitch around the edge, about a quarter of an inch from the edge. 
because you've got, um, you know, the H640, you've got sort of like a, a, a padding, you know, like a quilting mm -hmm. sort of thing. So I like to make a little bit more of a feature of that actually on the bag. Then when you get to the seam, just move your fabric slightly. Could you in fact quilt it if you yes. are, because you, you've got the H40, you could do some free motion or oh just my a gosh, cross hatch yes, or... Definitely. You could even do some butterflies if you've got the butterfly yes, fabric. Yes, definitely. Oh, nice. Get rid of the thread. You say you're hungry, Leo. Liam's <laughs> tummy's rumbling through, I can hear it. <laughs> you're having um, a, a nice lunch as well, aren't you? Me? Fancy I hope so. lunch? I hope so. I, I've said um, we usually go for a picnic afterwards. and uh, It's got cold now, hasn't mm. it? So we're still going to go for a walk or something, but I said, oh, should we take a sandwich or something with us? And um, my husband said, oh, there's a few places nearby. We might yeah, do. plenty of sandwich place yeah. options. So I'm just going to do a locking stitch there. Yeah, but the weather looked gorgeous earlier, so I think it's still it's sunny outside. It's a beautiful yes. day. This is like the perfect autumn It is. Perfect it is. winter walk day. Yes, definitely. I'm feeling the cold, though. Is oh. anybody else? I had my electric blanket on last night. Oh, my gosh. Right. So there we have it. Yeah. Oh, so wow. So we just pop that over. And if you don't want the bow, you don't, don't need the bow. Look at that. That looks lovely bow. without the bow as well. What you can do is um, you could put a popper on the bag and a popper on the bow. The trouble is it would show, that's the only thing. Um, but, you know, it's just easy to sort of add yeah. the bow with a few stitches. You don't have to. And you can have your bow up either way. The mm. way that they suggest in the bag is a um, bag book is that way. So the wider parts at the right. bottom. But I've just... Yeah, put it that way, and I think which that way looks have you done it here? Cute. Oh, in fact, actually, you've done it the way that the book suggested. Yes. I suppose. Well, which way would you do you hold this? Because I think that I like it that way with the yes. pointy points up. Yes, yeah, it does look nice that way. Actually, it's cute. So we've um, made our bow. We've run a gathering stitch, and you want to make that as as small as possible. You have a couple of tabs. And um, you just need to be sure. So if you use the H640, you just need to be sure that that's going to go round. And in fact, I would actually maybe make it slightly deeper mm -hmm. um, with the H640. But I'm going to use the one with just the interfacing. Just a thought, you could use those brooch pins that we were talking about yes. in the last hour. Oh, absolutely. What because then you're not going idea. to have yes. a, instead of a got one here. Yeah. So then you can put it on or off. Yeah. So you just need to make sure that um, your bow is going to fit. And this, you'll sort of ease the, um, the folds and the, you know, the gathers and everything. So you've got your piece of fabric. I've interfaced it. I've actually turned the ends in. And this is all on the pattern. I think I've got it there. It might be on the floor. Don't <laughs> worry. Um, I've actually just tacked either side just to keep those in you could use quilting tape or something. glue pen yeah or your glue pen um, either of those and then right sides together you're just going to do a narrow I'm going to do quite a narrow um, seam across Oops. and do a locking stitch because you want to, not a locking stitch and um, a reverse stitch you want that to be nice and secure And then you'll turn this round to the right way. And you want your seam at the back, like mm -hmm. that. And then very, very carefully, so we want the front of the bow that way. You're going to, I've found I rolled it and it made it the right size to go through and then you'll just pull that through and this I would take a little bit of time with it to make sure that you're happy with the placement of the um, gathers and everything right so just 
just uh, across there like that. And as I say, just spend a bit of time just easing that through. But look how lovely that is. Oh, it's so Really, beautiful. really nice. And then you'll attach that um, by hand either that way up or that way up with a few stitches. It's such a beautiful bag and I think it looks completely different in this fabric as well, doesn't it? Look at that. Oh, I love it. The other do thing that you could do is if you wanted to, you know, with the lining, you yeah. could make your bow out of the lining fabric. Oh, contrasting bow. Yeah. yeah, good idea. Or have pattern fabric on the front and the lining fabric on the back. So how do you feel it? How does it feel different to the interfacing? Does it feel? It's just squad. Squidgier. Yeah. Squidgier. Squidgier and Squidgier. <laughs> Made a new name. A yeah, new word. makes sense. We all know what you mean. Squidgier. It just feels softer. Okay. That one, I actually put some stuffing in it. Yeah. So if you took the stuffing out, it would be a lot, lot flatter. Soft, yeah, a lot flatter okay. and softer. I'm going to take it out so you can see the difference. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I see what you mean. I mean, they're both brilliant. You get H640 in your kit anyway, yes. so definitely have a go with the H640. And yes. if you do want any interfacing for any of the other little parts that Cara said, then that's um, that's the option with the the, the uh, interfacing. Thank yes. you ever so much. That's Is there anything right. else you wanted to mention? No, I think that's it. Isn't Bro. it lovely? It's so so sort of quick to come together, and you know you'll take your time. I obviously am doing it standing yeah. up to camera. Absolutely, um, so no excuses, no excuses at all. But you will take a little bit of time and enjoy it. You know, absolutely, it's um, beautiful. But just so lovely. Love it, love it, love it. When are you back with us, Cara? 12th of October. October, we'll see you then. It's not long. I was thinking no. October seems age away. It's next week, isn't it? I know. <gasps> next I know. week. So we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Definitely. Thank you so much. No, lovely right. to have it's you. Enjoy your nice Thank winter you. walk. Yes, we will. Oh, nice. <laughs> right. So thank you very much, Cara. If you did want the book, uh, it's £15. No, it's not. It's £9.99. £9.99 for this one. You've got loads of stylish bags in here. As we said, you get all of your pattern pieces, plus you've got great tips and techniques that are going to be great transferable skills, aren't they? Just £9.99 for the book. The bag that we are making today, uh, obviously you can jot down today's date. We've covered virtually every part of the bag. It's a really, really lovely one. Uh, but that's the 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 instructions and they're very very clear lovely photographs and of course you can watch back today's show just £9.99 I know that we've seen the book before and it was extremely popular we made the reversible shopper bag from here as well we've got a couple of um, bundles to be able to make this one as well so let's go to um, should we do that in fact let's just do the shopper bag because you've got some gorgeous tilde bundles here so you have got the Tilda Plum Duck Nest, where you get half a metre of the ones with... Sorry, actually, is, is that a metre? Yeah, so you get a metre of each. Wow, you get a metre of your duck pond, a metre of this one as well. You blossom plus, you get your print bag handles, £34.99. Even if you've got another bag idea in mind or another idea for your beautiful Tilda... That's going to be amazing. So that's your confetti in nutmeg and your duck nest, nest as well for just £34.99, including your prim handle. And then I've also got this one, which is Tilda Teardrops and a cream to go with. Uh, price is £18.49. You're getting a whole metre of your Tilda, a metre of your cream and your prim bag handle. Ivory, sorry, that's ivory. Uh, a metre of ivory. They're both 100% cotton. The Tilda fabric is absolutely gorgeous. And we're at just 18 49 Now, if you want the bundles from today... Uh, pink. Uh, Peony Passion. Peony Passion is the one that Cara was working with. You get half a metre of your pink, uh, half a metre of your green, H640 and your snaps. Being the most popular and it's £23.99 pence for all of that fabric plus your 8640 in your snaps uh, the one that Cara made the bag out of was the butterfly and you're getting half a meter of your butterfly fabric half a meter of your blue 8640 and your magnetic snaps that one again very very popular this is your kaleidoscope gathering midnight with all of those beautiful butterflies the pinks pitsy stuff uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> no, I didn't say that. Um, okay, your pink ditzy stars is this one, 8640. Your ditzy stars and your half a metre of rose, half a metre of each of your fabrics, your interfacing, your H640 foam, and of course those magnetic snaps. Watch today's show back, 26th of the 9th, if you do want to watch it back on YouTube to get all of the tips from Cara as we did cover it all. The iron on interfacing that we were talking about is this one. It's your medium weight iron on interfacing and it's only three pounds, 99 pence. One pack will be absolutely plenty. It's up to you how structured you want. Um, that's going to be great for all it, for your bag making stash. Just three pounds and 99 pence. Oh, it's been a lovely, lovely day with you today. It really, really has. Um, I'm not here now for the next three days. Uh, you've got Debbie. Uh, you've got Bex, uh, Rebecca Reed back as well. So enjoy the next few days. Tomorrow's show looks a bit like this. You've got Fabulous Fabrics coming up at 8 o'clock. 9 o'clock, so different. Uh, all of the patterns from So Different are always very, very popular. And we've got lovely Faye Clements joining us, um, which is, it, it will be her first time in the new studio. So do join Faye with lots of great demos. At 10 o'clock, we've got overlockers and tools with Debbie. So if you've got any questions about an overlocker, absolutely get them in. 11 o'clock, Faye's going to be back with a demonstration on a bright top and trousers. Gosh, that's good. I don't think, I can't remember the last time we did a trouser demo. And of course, we will be repeating today's um, eight o'clock show. Uh, as always, before we hand over to our sister channel, Jewelry Maker, at one o'clock, there'll still be another hour of the replay to enjoy, which will be Debbie's eight o'clock show from yesterday. So those of you that might have missed it, uh, because I know that we had a couple of technical gremlins yesterday, you can watch yesterday's show back and check out as many times as you want across, of course, the web or the live show, or of course the repeat, or Jewelry Maker, as, as, as I say. Um, um, with only one PMP of just 3 95 Enjoy the rest of your weekend. It's been a pleasure to spend Saturday morning with you. Thanks ever so much to lovely Cara as well. And Debbie will see you bright and early tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. She will see you then.